This is GabNet, the great American broadcast network. Talk radio like you've never heard it before. everybody, it's Alex Bennett. It is the Ramble. The Ramble goes till midnight, and uh, we, uh, we're on the east coast of the United States, so that's Eastern Daylight Time. So if you're listening to us in that time frame, hey, we're going to be live. And in about uh, 25 minutes from right now, we're going to be talking to the Citizens Panel. But right now, we're going to be talking with an old friend. Ladies and gentlemen, as we were about to start this conversation, Stephen Pearl enunciated the phrase, Whistler's mother was a cunt. He was. She was a fucking nagging bitch. Will you pay me? Hurry up and pay me. My stories are coming on. Are you going out again, Whistler? You never spent any time with me. Oh, uh, what a drunk fucking gaggle on your mouth. Here, son of a bitch. This is a kind of a holdover. From our, uh, this is our holdover from our discussion on art last week. Yeah, this is a holdover from Artbeat, which was on last week. Yes. This week, Impressionism with Rich Little. <laughs> you mentioned somebody last <laughs> week, and I, 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 you know, when you said the name, I, I knew the name, but I couldn't remember what from. And then we established the fact that actually what it was from was um, uh, uh, John Nagy. And, and Don Nagy, learn to draw. Yeah, learn to draw. He used to go on TV and every day teach you how to draw. That's right. I used to watch him on a little Saturday mornings when I was a little kid. And did you learn? I would draw on the TV screen with a magic marker, and boy, did I catch hell for it. Did, no, you, do you, you don't. I don't. I doubt it. Maybe you don't. Maybe you do remember this. I don't know. There was a thing called Winky Dink and me, or Winky Dink, Winky yep. Dink and you, or something <laughs> like that. And what it was was Winky Dink. Uh, asked you to draw pictures on your TV set. Now, That's right. <laughs> now, they didn't want you to destroy your parents' TV set. They simply wanted your parents to go down to the local toy store and buy a Winky Dink art set. And then what you would That's do right. is there was this thing you would put in front of the screen, <laughs> and then when Winky Dink said, okay, draw a kitty cat right here and uh, do this and draw a line here and there, and and then you know when it was over it would wash <laughs> off think? it would wash off because it was it was plastic it was you know washable yep they sell you a magic marker and a piece of plastic for like ten ninety five and you were ready for action. hey draw a rocket ship and help Winky Dink get off the moon yeah exactly exactly yeah so sure. what ha- happened was <laughs> nobody wanted to spring for the goddamn toy for the kids. So the kids would just draw right on the TV set. Draw on the screen. And there was, Watching the Kirk Douglas movie, there's a rocket ship across the space. What's going on here? And they would do it in the equivalent of whatever in those days were magic markers, and it, they, it was sure. hell to get it off the TV screen. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> this all, I was smart. And, I just found some saran wrap and like whacked it on the screen and drew on that. But I, do you remember, no one was the wiser. Do you remember who produced that show and was the host of that show? Jack Nars. I don't you're, know. You're close. Jack Barry. One of those. It was Jack Barry. Oh, that's right. That's right. Yeah, the announcer guy. Who, who later went on to what? 21. You got me on that. 21. He, he produced the show. 21. 21, which, of course, became the center of the whole, you know, uh, uh, game show rigging controversy. Ah. So... Uh, I remember in the late 60s, there was a game show called The Generation Gap, and he hosted it for a while. And they'd have, like, young people on versus old people in their 40s or something. And they'd show, like, a clip of Jimi Hendrix, and they'd ask the old people, who is this? Or they'd have uh, you know, a picture of Tyrone Power, and they'd ask the old people, who is this? And whoever won, you got to trip the Spionk or something. Uh, do you remember any... He was the host of that show for a while. I'm trying to remember, what, what what's the worst game show of all time? Well, we, we mentioned that... Uh... I think a couple of weeks ago when we were talking about uh, You're in the Picture with Jackie Gleason. That's right. That's right. Yeah, it ran once, and then the next night he came on and apologized for yeah, it. Next week I don't know what we were thinking. i got to go to Toots Shores and get drunk. And then I think he fulfilled his commitment to CBS by doing a variety hour for like 13 yeah. weeks or something. <laughs> but, I, but, you know, game shows, um, 
have been with us since the very beginning. I mean, it, you know, it it sure. it, 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 uh, ma- it was a major uh, a major thing. Uh, sure, and, sure. Just that Charles Van Dorn. He'll tell you. Yeah, I don't. Do we have any during the day anymore? Remember, they used to always be on during the day, and now well, they're, they're all not. on in the day, late morning and afternoon. I and know. Man, snap judgment. Yeah, right. All those games are. But today they're not. They don't run them then. What they do is they run them in what we call pre-prime time. So it's like uh-huh. that hour yeah. from seven to eight. Uh, and they've got like Wheel of Fortune and uh, the, uh, yeah, a lot of other back and all those and, and Jeopardy and so on. But in those days, yeah. Jeopardy, uh, Wheel of Fortune, uh, Player Hunch, uh, go, Who's Your Mother, whatever the program was, we're who's always your mother? <laughs> we're always on during the oh, day, during the day. You know, but now the day is That's... filled with soap operas. Uh, TV hosts like Ellen and Steve Harvey, aye, and aye, most aye. of all, and you know, for guys not working right yeah. now, and I sit home during the day and I turn on the TV set, there are endless varieties of judge shows. Yeah. Oh God, it's nothing but judge shows on. It's insane. It's insane. Like every channel is a judge. Oh yeah. my! Everybody's suing each other. <laughs> well, I saw one the other day. I couldn't believe. It's a judge show with three judges. <laughs> oh, my God. It's, it's time to play Supreme Court. I can see the pitch meeting for that show, you know. Uh, look, we don't just have one judge. We've got three judges, and they argue with each other. <laughs> I, was watching, I was watching Divorce Court one day, and, I just, and the couple was really going at it. They absolutely hated each other, and they cut the commercials. When they came back, the announcer goes, like the Robin Williams movie, RV, there's nothing funny about this case. Let's watch. (laughs) (laughs) And do you remember, I think it was was on, uh, what's what's the one that that Judge Wapner did, um, uh, which was really. People's Court. Yeah, it was it was really the granddaddy of the court shows, I think. I'm trying. Yeah, to that was the show. first one, and then it, they they just spawned a thousand others, just like it. Yeah, and uh, but they would always come on and say, in the case of the blah blah blah, you know, the cat who said yeah. meow. <laughs> case of they, the they man always, versus it, the clerk. They would always title the cases. Yeah, and they were the hoping. case of Lego My Ego. We'll be right back with the blowing up of an abortion clinic. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be right back with the RFK murder trial. And then, well, I know you're I'm upset, but you shouldn't have done that. But, we'll be oh back. We'll be back <laughs> with the case of who killed them with O.J. Simpson right after this. <laughs> the, the case of the headless cocor. When we come back, <laughs> oh Jesus, <laughs> Jeez, oh my! Send your hate mail to the usual address. <laughs> hmm. I don't care. Come and get me. I have no career. I have nothing to lose. What can you do to me that Patel is not already done? Oh, Go on, well, crucify listen, me, kill me. I don't care. I feel sorry for O.J. Simpson. And uh, let me let me explain why. Why, why pray tell? Why? Because nobody else. <laughs> feel sorry for him so somebody has to do it somebody has to somebody has to do it and i figure you know i mean so he got cranky one night okay everybody has a bad day (laughs) oh my it happened she could have driven him to it you never know i remember i performed i remember the improv had a club in santa monica i performed there one night late 92 and oj simpson and nicole simpson and al cowling and another friend of theirs are right up front (laughs) <laughs> a really good set, and I was messing with him from the stage. And we said hello afterwards. When they left, I told my friend, I was a man, what a nice guy. She's really lucky to be married to him. Wah, wah, uh, wah. I'll tell you something. Boy, I, was I wrong. I, I will tell you, though, uh, I uh, I was at the Olympics, and I saw O.J. Simpson walking around, going into a bar, hanging <laughs> out with people, and I videotaped it. I have a videotape of it somewhere. Oh, my God. Yeah. But, but no, the thing is that, you know, I mean, I, to begin with, I say that O.J. Simpson was not guilty because that's uh-huh. what he was a judge to be in court. 
okay? And uh-huh. we, yeah. if somebody is found not guilty in court, it's our job as Americans, in the great tradition of what we consider our legal jurisprudence, to give him the benefit of that doubt. Yeah. Okay? <laughs> Even if we know he did it. But people go around going, well, he did it. There's no question he did it. Were yeah. you there? No. Did you did you see any of the evidence? Well, I saw it on TV. And no, what do you mean he did it? You know, you don't know whether it, the cor- a group of his peers said he didn't do it. Okay. Yeah. And that's what you you have to allow him to live the rest of his life with that innocence. You get what I'm saying? If we're going to be true, yeah, if we're gonna, if we're going to be true, if we're going to be true Americans. That's what we've got to do. Does that make sense to you? Yep. You know, yes, it does. It's, 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 it's legally, it's the right thing to do, but everybody knows he did it, so you don't want to move right. next door no, to you. No, I don't but, want to give him a knife set for his birthday. I, you know? I have to close my ears when you say that because he has to be presumed innocent because he was never found guilty. And they go, well, there was that other trial. Well, no, that was a, uh, that was a uh, trial in which he was charged with responsibility. And sue. Yeah, that was something else. Yeah, and it's an entirely different set of rules in a courtroom like that. So yeah, uh, you know. Yeah. So I, I, uh, you know, I always kind of uh, felt that we should give him the benefit of the doubt. But let me say this, okay? And I say this in deference to all the women out there who think this is a horrible thing that he did. I've had women who have driven me nuts. As I'm sure, <laughs> as I'm, I'm sure you have as well, right? Yes, big time, yeah. And I think as guys, we kind of there's a there's a we won't say this in front of women, okay, and we won't say this publicly, but we'll say it within ourselves. Well, I kind of understand why he flew off the handle. <laughs> You know, uh, yeah, yeah, she's yeah. driving I would, around. I would she, cross the line of uh, pulling the knife out or anything. She's driving <laughs> around town. For or yell. She's driving around town in a car that used to be yours, with a guy in uh-huh. the front seat with her who looks like he's fucking uh-huh. her, and she's just like uh-huh. throw, throwing it in your face constantly, right? Driving you <laughs> fucking nuts until you get to the point where you just go, bah! right? Ping, 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 snap. In the right. Now, the thing is, under those conditions, you and I wouldn't kill the person, okay? Oh, no. Because no. we're not... I'd hire somebody to do it. No, not, I'm, kidding, I'm kidding. We're not violent. But when you were brought no. up in the projects, you know, <laughs> it's a slight... Oh, yeah, you saw a pang, ping, boom. Yeah. A lot of Ike Turner's thing stuff going it, on there. Exactly. You know. But, I, you know, I mean, it, let's face it, the state did not prove that he did it. And that's the they point. Did. They did a bad job prosecuting him. They did a terrible yeah, job of prosecuting him. And, uh, uh, you know, I mean, it, but he it, now, then they throw him in jail in, in, in Vegas because yeah. of something that is really, all the other people in that case got let go. They'd, uh-huh. get, they'd sentenced him to 30 years in prison. 30 years, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> It looks like he's got him on something. It <laughs> they looks got like, him this time. It looks like he's going to get out the end of the year, though. So. That's what I heard. They're going to parole him soon. So they, there you go. Yeah. Nice try. Yeah. Uh, for a while. And that he's ready to do a uh, um, a reality show. They've got a reality show already <laughs> set. Oh, my God. Satan yeah. is winning $40 million to nothing. Well, I had a friend. Her name is Judith Regan. And she got OJ to write a book. And the book was... If I did it, that was the title of it. Oh yeah, and the if was in really small letters. Too. It, it, no, it, it, no. If I did it, and then he pretty much said in the book, if he did it, here's how he would have done it. Right? Oh God! Oh my God! Uh, there became such a flurry over this situation. The guy sure. who she had sold her publishing company to, Rupert Murdoch, fired her from her own company. Yep. And, and they didn't publish the book, and then the 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 uh, uh, the family. What the, the I'm trying to remember the name. The the Brown, the Goldmans. Go, the, Goldmans, yeah, sued yeah. because that Goldman dad, who's a real asshole. Uh, <laughs> no, I had him on my show on by the phone on the phone one day. Oh, really? In, what San, you think? in, in San Francisco, and I said to him because what I felt he was doing 
was again with his approach. His approach was anti-law, okay? His uh-huh. approach was anti-American, as I felt, because, you know, we uh-huh. live on, in, in a government of fair trials and presumption of innocence before guilt, all right? And that he was yep. violating all these things, right? And so uh, I, well, I simply said to him, the thing that bothers me about you, he says, something about me bothers you? Like he was, so, he was, has had always been treated so gingerly because he was the father of, uh, the, of the dead son yeah. that nobody ever challenged him and the way he was doing things. And uh, we had a few harsh words and he hung up. <laughs> <laughs> wow, feel bad for me. My son got stabbed. Oh, not this yeah. time. So I always, oh, my God. Well, I, I, and I, I never I liked him. Pain, but I always felt he was a prick. He, me, was a, he was a professional victim, you know? Yeah, yeah. Never, he could have been a prick before it happened, and he just carried it on, or who knows? I don't know. Yeah. You know, I feel his pain and everything, but uh, I never met the man. I don't know nothing. Well, you he know. Shave that mustache, though. We, He's not Salvador Dali. I don't think she was having a relationship with Ron Gold. But there are rumors uh-huh. as to his profession. Okay. Yeah. And that the the wares yeah. he was Here's selling. Your glasses and an eight ball, honey. Yeah. So you know, I mean, all of a sudden the victims, of course, everybody takes great pity on, and nobody ever questions about them. Okay. Yeah. Um, you know, yeah. It's, it's 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 interesting. I was years ago. I had a, a breakfast with uh, Larry King after we did a show and he had been on it. And so I said, you want to get a little breakfast? He said, sure. We were sitting there and we were talking and uh, we got to talking about OJ. And he says, you know what OJ's problem is? I said, what? He said, he should admit it. I said, why? He said, number one, they can't retry him. Okay. And America, if he came out and said, I did it and I'm sorry. Oh, God. Ameri- oh my God. I'll never he do said, it again. <laughs> he, he said he'd have a fucking television series next year. Oh, my God. He said, oh, my God. Oh. Uh, America loves people who recant things they did. And, yeah. they, were, and, they, and they are very <laughs> easy. Are... They are very easy to forgive them, even something like that. He said if he would just do that, he would his the rest of his life would be okay. You know. Oh my God! I don't know. A murder is something different than embezzlement or saying something nasty or something. But, well, they could. Uh, they could. I, I don't know. They couldn't retry him. No, you know, they could. Well, they, they might find something if they want you. They'll get you. So yeah, like they got him on this other thing. You know, but yeah, I did it, and I'm sorry. You know. Yeah. And I'm really sorry. It was uh, you know she was driving the bitch was driving me nuts. And uh, she, you know, I have a flaring temper, and that's what happened. Yeah. <laughs> I snapped. I promise it won't happen again. I'm on medication. I'm a good guy. Oh, my God. On uh, the other hand, I also, <laughs> I, to this day, maintain there's a chance he was not guilty of it. You know. It, well, that some, some people talk about it was his oldest son that might have done it, and uh, he was a mean guy, or who knows, who the hell knows. Could have the, 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 so. the oldest son was, was, a, uh, was a possibility. Also, uh, nefarious characters uh, involved in the drug trade, you know, uh, yep, and, yep, she, and, yep. and they weren't after her. They were after him, but she yeah. was there at the time, and so she was the brunt of it as well. Uh, yep. now I know people are sitting out there going, how can you say that O.J. wasn't guilty? And I can say he wasn't guilty <laughs> because 12 of his peers found him not guilty. All yeah, right? they so, did. Uh, you know that uh, if they said it, I have to assume it. Okay. Yeah. Uh, and yeah. I, th- I think the oh, yeah, guy, yeah, yeah. Be- by virtue of the fact he won the case, and I know everybody's pissed off that he won the case. All right. But he won it fair yeah. and square. All right. There you go. That's the way it is. Uh, then you Too have bad. you have the responsibility to give him the benefit of the doubt. You know. Yeah. And and uh, uh, I know that's an unpopular. It's a. It's always whenever I brought it up, it's always a very unpopular thing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And I go. Fuck I'll let him know your address. Uh, I'll. I'll uh, you know, it's like with the Kennedy assassination. Just shut up already, okay? Shut the <laughs> fuck up. Yeah. Well. You know. Uh, it, 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 it. Well, he he couldn't have shot three shots from there and killed the president. Blah 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 blah. In that amount of time. Blah uh-huh. blah blah. And I go. 
hey, anything's possible, and that's what coincidence is, you know? That's true. That's and, true. And maybe— so uh, it, it won't. And so I came out with the most controversial theory of all about the Kennedy assassination, that Oswald did it. You know, there you go. And, how how can you? Who, how did you think of that? And if I said it's that, it's totally I'm, possible. And because if that many people were in on, as everybody says, there would have been a deathbed confession somewhere. Somebody would have talked, but you know, and, and that many people can't keep a secret. So it could have been just one nut who got the shots off. Yeah, who the fuck knows? Yeah, but but the the, the point, in fact, is <clears throat> anytime I would bring that up and say. You know, I think it was. I think my my controversial theory is Oswald did it. People would yeah. call up. How can you say Oswald did it? And then they would start going into this stuff about Martians from outer space who came down and shot yeah. Kennedy. You know, and uh, did you see that? This, uh, 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 on and no, the on Be- the Beatles and Merv Griffin had him killed. I have charts and graphs in the car. I'll show you. Yeah, exactly. So I, I yeah, that was yeah. always so. Finally, one day I just said I snapped and I said, "Okay, let's put an end to this whole thing about who killed Kennedy." <laughs> I did it. I admit it. Good enough. I confess. You I know, did it. And everybody laughs. I go, "How do you know I didn't do it?" <laughs> you know. <laughs> did anybody ask it me where that, I was that day? You know. <laughs> it was that fucking Boston accent. I couldn't take it anymore. What's interesting? We must ask the people in Boston. And I couldn't take it. I had to whack them. Let me ask you a question. Where were you when uh, K- Kennedy was shot? Uh, the grass. I mean, in school. School. Yeah, school. That's it. School. You were in school and you heard <laughs> Which about Kennedy. Did, did you hear about it in school? Uh, I, I, I remember where I was when Edgar Kennedy died. No, um. Tom Kennedy, uh, third grade, Mrs. Mandelbaum's class in the third grade. They were sitting, it was near the end of the day, it was like 2.30, and Mr. Plantamira, the principal, a little guy who looked like uh, a, a stocky Roger Crawford, a stockier Roger Crawford, yeah. came on uh, the loudspeaker, uh, kids are just, uh, the President Kennedy has been assassinated in Dallas, so they'll all go home. And it's the third grade, nobody knew what the fuck assassinated meant. I, I didn't know what it meant, so we're just sitting there, blind guy, and the teacher explains, he got shot, go home! <laughs> so we all went home, and there you have it. Well, <laughs> most people can remember, I was on leave from the Navy, and I was home in Marin County when I heard about it. I was, also was uh-huh. there, I remember, when I was watching television and saw Oswald get shot on live on TV. Oh, you watched it? Yeah, I didn't miss, I, I missed that one. Yeah, uh, but I, everybody can pretty much, who was alive at the time, tell you where they were. Even you, you were a kid, you were in third grade. You know, you can remember yep. where you were when... Do you know one guy who couldn't remember where he was? No. Well, I remember where I was when Sal Mineo got killed. I remember all that yeah, shit. Yeah, I'm but, pretty but, morbid, but uh, Nixon, I remember where I was when everybody died. When Nixon was asked, he couldn't remember where he was. Do you know where he was? <laughs> he was in Dallas. That's right. Wasn't he there the day before or something? Something or? like that, and he was there <laughs> that day. Yeah. But he couldn't remember I where he that was. Morning. Just in time. If you were in fucking Dallas at the time, I think you would remember that. <laughs> there was an 18-minute gap in my brain. I had rosemary erase that part of my brain. Yeah. I have no I recollect. Yeah. I was overzealous. I don't know. God, you know, compared <laughs> to what, what's happening with our country right now, I wish we had Nixon back. <laughs> I know. I never thought I'd miss Nixon. I never thought you'd miss me. Listen, At least I got to meet Alvis Presley. <laughs> you, you know, you know what, one of the things I found out the other day that Nixon was fighting for was universal health care. Uh-huh. Universal health care. Oh, really? And do you know that? What, no, yeah, go ahead. No, I just said uh, nobody thought it was a commie plot back then. <laughs> yeah, but. He, wow, I didn't know that. He, he actually. He, did some decent things and he was president okay. like lowering the voting age and getting rid of the draft now you think you'd thought some left wing commie would have done that do you know but it was he, nixon so you know, there you know you what go. he did he mandated that the government would pay for anybody who needed dialysis wow uh, you know he wasn't such a prick after all <laughs> no he wasn't such a prick after all he's the guy that opened up a conversation with china that's right. You know, and so wow. it, it, we hated him because of Vietnam. Uh, but, That's right. But, That's right. But if there, Vietnam never happened, we would have tolerated him a lot nicer. But on, a, lot nicer. On, a, on a national level, on a domestic level, wasn't a bad president. You know, not at all. Not at all. But national, compared to, yeah, what, we, compared to what we've got now, herpes is better. You know, so. Oh, <laughs> oh God. 
God. Oh, Sean Spicer, you helium-sucking potato face. If your voice gets any higher, only dogs will be able to hear how full of shit you are. Well, listen, my friend, once again, we have to bring this thing to a close. And, of course, once again, I will ask you, would you like to do it next week? I'm there, daddy Oh, You say when and where, and I'm there. I have my traveling shoes on. I love talking to you. telephone shoes. Stephen Pearl, ladies and gentlemen. This is GabNet, the great American broadcast network. Talk radio like you've never heard it before. And here we are, ready to go. And uh, thank you very much, Stephen Pearl. Uh, Stephen will be with us again next week. Uh, We enjoy the little talks we have with our friends, and I hope you enjoy them too. Uh, But uh, anyway, let me see here. Let me get my microphone right, and let me get... uh, get uh, Skype going here because we you know we have this whole Skype deal we do where we talk to our uh, citizens panel those are people that give us a call and uh, lately I have to sit around waiting uh, for people to call because they're they, nobody wants to be the first one to call uh, I should give a prize to the first one who calls because sometimes it's the first person that gets screwed up uh, in uh, in using Skype. For some reason, Skype is of a way that sometimes the first person and sometimes the last person who calls. Also, if something happens, they can't, they can't see their camera or they can't, uh, the, their picture won't come on or uh, they get bumped off or whatever. Don't be afraid to be the first one. I will appreciate you being the first one, okay? If you don't know how to use uh, uh, Skype and you don't know how to use this citizens panel and so on, just go to gabnet.net. Uh, type it in right now, gabnet.net, G-A-B-N-E-T dot net. And then uh, you, it has all the information there on how you can be part of the citizens panel, which isn't just one person. It's a whole bunch of people. Camera. Let, can't, let, uh, oh, wait a minute. He's got to turn down his audio there. Yes. And ladies and gentlemen, uh, with that familiar. I shut down my thing, but I failed. Oh, boy. Yeah. Yeah, you, you're fine. You're fine. So where are you? Uh, we have, see a picture of Don Knotts in back of you, and it Some looks shit. like you're in a... Just go to uh, wait a minute. Uh, type uh, in right now. Gabnet, dot net, G-A-B-N-E-T, uh, oh, dot you gotta t- your, net. Your audio is coming through. Uh, you you, 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 you got to figure out where it's coming from. That will shut it off. Huh? Wait a minute. Somewhere along the line, you've got you've got our program playing. So where is it? I've been drinking too much. Okay. Okay. Wait a minute. Let's, well, hold on a second. Uh, it, 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 how about your? Uh, how about your? Um, let me see here. It, it isn't me. Oh, there it is. There you got it. On out. Where was it? Uh, where was it? Huh? Can you hear me? Yeah, but now it's back again. Shit. Somewhere along the line. Do you have got, Do you have a browser open? Do you have a browser open? Uh-huh. Huh? I'm going to come back in. No, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Did you? It, now there's no sound. Now there's no noise. There's no. Then we don't hear the sound anymore. Huh? Can you talk to me? Can you hear me? You can't even hear me. Oh, boy. Oh, well. He gave up, ladies and gentlemen. He gave up. No, so here we are. Uh, that, that was his fault. That wasn't Skype's fault. Okay, here he comes again now. Let's see what happens. You have a browser. Now you see, now you've got something open. That's, uh, check your speakers. I've what? shut down all Skype. Okay. This is close. What? Uh, you, uh, sorry, can you hear me? Can you hear me? Yeah, can you hear me? Yeah, let me turn my camera on. Okay. Sorry, Alex. I where would what, I was sitting here? I thought I shut it off. I didn't, and I got all confused. Cause yeah. That's all I do is drink in Iowa. Yeah. What What happens? It keeps asking me about my speakers. I don't care about my speakers. Automatically adjust speaker settings. Now I'm all Check messed up quality, the call camera's quality off. guide. I don't want any of that. Hello, Phil. Are you there? Yeah. Let me. Uh, let's see. Uh, camera. Need to toggle? Yeah, and Scott needs to toggle his camera as well. My camera's grayed out. Oh, jeez. I got, I, got, I got the first first in curse. I, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm just... The first in curse. I think I'd learn how to do this by now, you know? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm going to log out and come back in, and I'll 
fuck up Phil. Yeah, yeah we'll see. <laughs> maybe maybe it doesn't screw up the second guy. It, 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 it doesn't screw up the second guy. You just call right back. All right, I'll be here mm. if I can figure out how to do it right. I'm I'm sorry, Alex. I'm I'm not a professional like you. It, it, oh, I'm a professional, not anymore. Anyway, uh, <laughs> hey, good evening. Good evening. How are you? All right. Yeah. 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 Uh, 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 gee, uh, we always have some. Let me let me t turn on your camera there so that people can see you. Okay. Because mm -hmm. uh, I didn't turn it back on after we all got this thing set up, but we're okay now. We're we're doing all right. All right. Yeah. Usually have to wait till the second guy comes in, and then you can turn on the camera. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Uh, but uh, uh, it, uh, I don't know. I just, you know, it's uh, it's it's just the whole Skype problem. And uh, are you running the new one yet? N no, no. If I did that, I would have to call you back. I'd have to do that deal, you know. So. All right. Uh, I don't know. Maybe they fixed it, or have you tried it? I I haven't heard anybody say it's been fixed. You know, so we don't know. We're okay now. We're we're doing all right. I right. still messed Usually up. Have to wait till now we have the sound time. again, yeah. Scott. I keep trying to exactly. shut down Safari, uh, but, but uh, it won't yeah. shut down. Why? Uh, there, go. there you go. Yeah. Yeah. You see, that's, that's what happens. I turn the Safari off before I turn on the Skype, so I... Yeah. 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 Okay. Now, to hit your camera. Have you got your camera? No. No? Really? I'm about ready to just go to bed. I don't know what I'm doing. Is oh, okay, I'm sorry. Is there a camera there? No. Cancel no. that. Now no. let's try it. Let yeah. Hit this and this. I see everything. There we go. Oh, there there we it go. is. There, there it is. There it goes. Hey. How much you been drinking today? Oh, I've been drinking since about 2 o'clock. Oh, wow. Oh, boy. So, and Scott? How do you feel about Melania Trump coming out as a as a uh, Catholic? Oh, oh, she probably is Catholic. That's a very Catholic region where she's from. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now Kushner coming out as Catholic would be shocking. <laughs> yeah, I don't think that's going to happen. <laughs> he might be coming out as Russian, though. Oh, he might be coming out as uh, FBI uh, jailbait. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it runs in the family. Yeah. Uh, oh, it does. It does. His dad do we, do we was have uh, to talk a about big, uh, prisoner Trump. guy, right? Uh, prison guy, yeah. Do we have to talk this early about Trump? Before? Oh, no, no. That's okay. I'm I sorry. I think we get it out of the way. You know, you there's know? a whole, there's yeah. a whole other bunch of stuff today, you know. Oh, you know, I just love Stephen Pearl's voice. He's just so gravelly and whatnot. It's just amazing to listen to. Oh, great. I'm glad you enjoy it. We don't get a yeah. lot of listeners for that segment of the show. Oh, I like it. I, I, I'm saying, yeah. I'm surprised, you know. Yeah. I, I I listen to a portion of it, and I always listen to it in a replay. Yeah. You know, the, the next morning on the way to work, that's when I listen to the first half hour. We've just been joined by Tim. Hello, Tim. Tim is on a phone. That's why you're only seeing a telephone there. Hi, well, Tim. You're just talking about politics, so he came in early. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So anyway, I, I have uh, I've come to my my I made a big mistake today. I. You know, I have said that I'm not going to post my opinions anymore on Facebook because I just don't like the interplay that goes on after you do something like that. Uh, there are people who talk about entirely different subjects or pick fights with each other or, 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 or uh, hijack, you know, the thread. And uh, but I decided today I, I would I would I would do something about it. And I it was a it was a thing I wrote. And I said, you know, for one of the few times I have to agree with Sean Hannity. What? Well, that this whole thing about, you know, media matters going after him and trying to get advertisers to boycott is something I can't support. It's a horrible thing. And that media matters are pieces of shit when they do that. Uh, that, and I say that because in my career I've been boycotted, you know, and it's not a it's not a friendly feeling. It's not a warm and fuzzy feeling when that happens. Um, the, I had an incident where somebody was uh, a bunch of people were writing letters to uh, Carl's Jr. and telling oh, them yeah. to cancel me, and uh, they were about oh about fifty letters. And then we found out it was all from the same guy. We hired a detective to go out after it. But, you know, I, I think that 
if Sean Hannity is going to fail, let him fail on his own merits, you know. Not because he's an asshole or because you don't agree with his politics. Uh, and this is, uh, uh, I, I consider this bad behavior. So I wrote that, okay? And now I get all kinds of shit, you know, because I said that Media Matters had something to do with me being fired. And somebody wrote, well, how do you know? And I said, well, isn't it amazing that the guy who succeeded me in that morning slot was one of the heads of Media Matters? Mm -hmm. You know, Ravenoff. Yeah, yeah, he was a big, big maca in in uh, media matters and hated me because I used to put media matters down all the time. You know, because I didn't like exactly what they're doing right now. I found it oafish and bullish and bu bullying rather, and uh, just not the right thing to do. Why do you consider that uh, it's okay for your page to have people post to it? Uh, that it's your page and you post what you want and don't let anyone post uh, to it. A lot of people... Uh, well, because I want to get maybe a dialogue going, but what I get are people going, going after me or saying, well, you know, uh, uh, Hannity did this. He said that this guy was murdered by the Republic <laughs> Democratic Party when the police said that it was a, it was a robbery gone wrong. And, uh, and I went, I wrote, this has nothing to do with what I just said. You know, I, I'm i not ta speaking to Sean Hannity's uh, uh, decency. Uh, I can't defend that on any level. But yeah. uh, but I am defending his right to free speech well, with, without being without having people suddenly causing him grief. And he's so this far, your, so far your, he's lost about eight sponsors. Yeah, I know. Yeah. But this is your personal page. And I just don't see why anyone can post to it, you know. Uh, maybe you'll, uh, you know, maybe. Well, you because only I use the, because well, no. I, in all uh, deference, I, I open myself to this because this is the same page where you go and you get the video of the show. Well, you can still get the video of the show and not be well, able to post. But to it's it. a private page, and so by the way, after writing that, I lost five friends. Oh, maybe I can be your friend now. Oh, oh yeah, be my friend. I don't think Scott's on Facebook, are you? Yeah, well, my wife is. I, my oh. wife will be your friend. I'll just be her uh, creeper. Let's see here. No, yeah, I still have uh, how many? How many friends do I have to go? I think I can. Oh, somebody just uh, just signed up to be a friend, Bastard. and it doesn't look like it's a hooker either. <laughs> hey, so, so I'll confirm. I'll David M. Hopman. It, it reminds me, in 1998, I got a, um, a GPS, and mm -hmm. that was, you know, an early early adapter of GPS. Yeah. And uh, so when, I put when, I, it? the word is adopter, not adapter. Ninety. An adapter is something 90. you plug into the wall. Uh, yeah, in, uh, 1998, uh, Scott. And 90. so what? Happened? Uh, what what happened is I got I get the family in the car and we go around and uh, I'm using the GPS and it's saying you know turn left turn right and my my youngest daughter I don't know she was maybe uh, five four uh, four or five years old she says will you be my friend <laughs> it was just the cutest thing he says to the C, to the to the GPS voice will you be my friend yeah. <laughs> I thought that was great. Well, now she doesn't talk to me. <laughs> well, she was a stupid kid anyway. So, you know. Yeah. She doesn't talk to you? No, no. She just, uh, it's very black or white. She uh, uh, she said, for one reason or another, she just decided uh, she didn't want anything more to do with me. Why? That's, that's uh, too bad. I'm sorry. She's the me. same way with 99% of the rest of the world. Really? Yeah. Well, she's uh, your daughter. Yeah, <laughs> she's a lot like me, and maybe that's why. Uh, now you have another daughter as well, yeah. and you have a good relationship with her. Uh, fair. I mean, uh, she'll uh, uh, respond to a text occasionally with a couple of words, but uh, and you know, I see her on holidays when she comes up from L.A. Yeah. Now, but you have old daughters, right, Scott? Yes, sir. Yeah. Do you get along with them? I think I do. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, they seem very nice. You don't seem to have the kind of enmity that seems to exist in Phil's situation. No, no, they, uh, you know, they uh, one lives at home, and the other one's home for uh, between college. And I have one in North Carolina that I don't get to see it very often, yeah. but you know, she's she seems all right. Yeah, yeah. All my kids hate me. 
Yeah, yes, I do. <laughs> I, I can see why. Yeah. yeah. So you don't have any. That's right. I, but that I that I can send a card to on their birthday. Yeah. You know. Except that one lost son somewhere. That one lost there. son, you know, I strongly suspect is Howard Stern. And no, no, he's too, Howard's too old. I'm about the right age, I think. I think I might Let's be a see. lost well, son. Well, uh, the lost son would be, he was, I was um, 19 Great. when the kid was born. 19. Yeah, so that was in uh, 1959. Oh, I'm too old then, too. 59. So how old would he be today? Anybody good with quick uh, math? Uh, well, 40. He would be uh, 58. 58? 58, 59. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Howard just turned 60, so. he's Howard's uh, 62 or 3. Something like that? Okay. Yeah. Maybe it was a premature birth. Could be. Could be. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, uh, you know, uh, who else could be my son? Oh, uh, well. Uh, Listen. Uh, Jason's too young. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, Tim, how you doing? Uh, real good. We've been just real busy lately. So. Yeah. The other day you hung up, and when I went to talk to you, it was just nobody there. My, I, my grandson came by, and I didn't. Oh, he stays with us part of the time. Yeah. And we got so enamored with him, I forgot I was still on the line. I'm sorry I didn't hang, hang up. Yeah. Uh, I didn't know I was going to be gone that long, but he kind of took over the show here. Yeah. <laughs> Our house. How old he is said, he? He's two years old. Uh Oh, and, nice! Uh, he's a great kid. I I like to read books to him, and he just he's just uh, he's a comedian. You know what can I say? Good, great, terrific. And uh, uh, Alex will put him on for the first half hour. And he enjoys life. <laughs> so yeah, I need somebody to do the first half hour. I I I, I, I thought about starting the show at ten thirty. Uh, then I've also thought about doing away with the show at night, and just doing a show during the day at like three o'clock in the afternoon. I like that. Yeah. I wonder if it's absolute. I might test, though, test it for Since a week. That's how I have to start drinking at 10 in the morning. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, he started it. Time zones. Uh, what? We're in different time zones. If you do a three, that's six for me, and I think it's five for Scott. Wait a minute. If I do a show at three, it's tw mid noon for you. Oh, oh, it's yeah. the other way around. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. Uh, it's two so o'clock for, for Scott, pastor. which is the time he starts drinking. <laughs> great I'm, I'm i'm down with that go for it yeah uh because i think there might be more of an audience then i don't know i you know and then i you know, your, uh, just leave TV these two was in, in in the morning i know that i like that what your tv show oh yeah it was at 10 o'clock in the live morning stream or whatever way back yeah you know, we, we did we did it ago. at uh, what 10 o'clock in the morning well you yeah, did experiment you did an experimental afternoon show for I don't know a month or two. Yeah, and, it was just uh, it was just hard doing both of them. Yeah, yeah. I don't know that you were getting uh, a large audience uh, oh. on that show. Um, what happened was is I found when Gabnet started, we did essentially uh, a morning show. We did we went on a ten because we were on a ten with the TV thing. So we went to this. We went on a ten. All mm -hmm. right. And then uh, Albert went on after me. I think first he went on before me, and then he went on after me. But anyway, we were ten to noon. We were doing programming, and the number, the the amount of people listening was quite high. Mm. When we went, we when we tested it at night, we got more callers. Uh, yes. Okay, but less people listening. I mean, most yes. of our listening to this is after the fact, not while it's on. You know, yeah. I mean, uh, if I were to just uh, just not put it anywhere else, but just do it live, uh, I, I probably wouldn't even crack a hundred, right? Mm -hmm. But here we crack, you know, a couple of thousand, maybe over over time listening to that particular episode. That's the way the internet works. You know, yeah. just like yeah. you want to watch your TV shows when you want to watch them, you speed through the commercials. Uh, you know, I, I, of course, this show is commercial free uh, by your largesse, uh, but, uh, uh, you know, it's the kind of thing. It wouldn't matter really when you did it. I guess okay. in order to have content, you need callers and then you can and it's 24-7. Now, 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 I want you to be, be the, uh, the, the panel here on this, uh, all three of you. Where is I saw that. Uh, um, uh, what's his name? Uh, oh, God, my mind's blank here. 
Anyway, uh, somebody else was trying, was signing on, but hasn't called yet. Uh, anyway, we have two people who want to be friends. Now, you got to realize that whenever I have an availability for friends, I have usually have the 5,000 and you can't take more than that. But when I have the, I go under the 4,000, 5,000 rather, the people out there, uh, I don't know, somehow they have robots or whatever that figure out there's a vacancy and then these hookers start writing to me. So, so. And I suspect, I now have two people who want to be friends and I suspect they're both hookers. Let's see. So how can I be your friend, Alex? What do I have to do to be a friend? Oh, it's add a somebody. friend up here? You just go to you go to my Facebook page. Add a friend? And you say, I want to be a friend. No. Okay, you, I'm going to push the button. No, and no, it'll add, be my wife, but. No, is that your page, though? Uh, you have to go You have to go to my page and ask to be a I'm friend. I'm on your page, oh, okay. Alex Bennett. Yeah. Face. Yeah. And I see. Oh, I can see us live. It's wait, wait. Did you just did you press okay, it? Okay, I, I clicked it. You clicked it. Okay. Well, we'll we'll see in a moment. Yeah, I just saw that. Okay. Let me see who this is now. Who? No, it doesn't have you up there yet. Uh, it's his wife. But no, you know, the, no, no, no. But anyway, listen to these people first of all. Yeah. Zorax, Zorax. Not me. Um, this is a person. This looks like no. This. this I photograph women from 37 countries. Oh, Zorax Zorax looks like a real person. Yeah. Okay. Well, he was there first, so put him uh, in. Okay, so I will confirm the request. Okay. Okay, but now you're you're not out of the out of the out of it yet because I still have some openings here. Hold on. Okay. Cuz now I have uh oh, I have the 5,000 friends now. But don't oh. worry. Uh Here's a person that I wasn't going to turn uh, have anything to do with, and I wish I could show you the picture, because it's it's a woman uh, fairly naked. Yes. Uh, Just take your camera and shine it at the picture. Wait a minute. Hold, hold, well, hold, <laughs> you know? Wait a minute. Hold on, everybody. I got to first. I got to go to my camera here. How fairly naked is naked? That's well, what I want. Here, 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 here. Well. Well, I can't. I can't do it. Unfortunately. Oh, okay. can't do it. Nah, uh, no way I can do it. Enough. But, it, it, just describe her to us. You got that radio voice. Uh, uh, oh, wait a minute. I know how I could. Well, I can't do it that way either. Turn uh, them on. Uh, uh, describe her. Well, she's got. Uh, uh, she's wearing kind of a top with the bottom of her tits falling out of it. Oh, a crop top. Yeah, crop top. And then uh, she's got a football in front of her pussy. Uh, oh, and he, here she's wearing I another thing know. with the she with the whole thing. She's got huge, huge breasts. Her name is Rivera Rihanna Lee. Hey, guess what? I'm going to delete this requ request. Oh, man. And it says Marcus Spam. I'm going to do that too. Now I know what a lot of you are saying. How is a healthy young boy like you? Why is he turning down making friends with a hooker? Uh, basically, because I know exactly what they're doing, you know, and it pisses me off. Uh, I thought that if you had 5,000, that you could actually make a request to add somebody as a friend. You could go to someone's page. No, I can't. If you had 5,000. No, I can't do more. it. No? Can't, can't do it. No. Okay. Not at all. Well, yeah. Hey, here's John Rockwell. Hello, hello. John. Hello. hello. I, is, uh, you can see me on the camera and oh, everything? Yeah. Oh, yeah. You're fine. Okay, good. No, just wondering. You're 100% there. <laughs> yeah, I was listening to you before and. I keep thinking Zorax is some sort of a, Hold you know, a some sort of a, a, a sleep aid or something. Yeah, you know. Zorax. Can't sleep? Yeah. Take Zorax. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> or, or it's a cleaner. Yes, yeah. my, my pet peeve on all those medical ads, because I work from home and in the afternoon, if things are boring, I'll watch, you know, stupid cable shows and uh, reruns of NCIS or something. But the ads for all these ad, all these ads for for you know feel good medicines and things that are going to solve all your problems then they give you that big list of everything that could kill you <laughs> you know it's like you might die from this medicine but hey we're going to give it to you anyway ask yeah. your doctor yeah, yeah. yeah. right thanks right. i've actually been on one of those i was on zarelto for a while now there are all now, these ads but, from but they Salino and barnes they, saying, they, you know, if you if if you went on zarelto and died <laughs> they come up with these names they come up with these names 
And you keep wanting to say, well, wait a minute. You come up with these names, but they don't mean anything. Mm. You know, like, like what does Zarelto yeah. mean? I, I'm not sure. I like the one, the more recent one is something like in video or something like that. And I keep thinking of that song, Perfidia, you know. I mean, to here, you, my heart cries out in video. <laughs> here's my gel, my Voltaren gel, the stuff I do for my knee to feel better. Oh, hell gel. Huh? Yeah, but it's really, in parentheses, Diclofenac. Yeah, it's even, it's even a weirder name than the one they give it. Diclofenac. Uh, Sounds like some name. guy from another planet. Diclofenac. Right. Yes, I am it, Diclofenac. It, it's uh, a topical anti-inflammatory, right? Yes. You, you know the drug. And I've known people to get upset stomachs from that, like you do from other anti-inflammatories. Really? Yeah, I got, yeah, the, well, I got the trots yesterday, but uh, normally it doesn't do anything to me, you know. I, I just I just looked at Drudge, and you know what the headline is? Oh God! Uh -oh. That in Montana, you, you know, there's uh, the Republican body slammed some reporter. Yeah, well, that's 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 the way you uh, that's the way you uh, run for office now. Right. Yeah. Well, he's one point ahead of the Democrat. <laughs> so what, what's he got to do? Kill somebody? Well, that's according point? that's according to Drudge, and Drudge well, goes to sources source which favor his favorite. opinion. Yeah, but they, they got most of the votes were mailed in. They had like almost four hundred thousand votes mailed in. Really? So that all happened before the the hit, probably. Yeah. But I think yeah. I think I think maybe if it's you, a big Republican. I think the know, next presidential normal, race so. should be no. determined by uh, uh, you know the world, the world wrestling <laughs> the worst we're <laughs> forgetting <laughs> the world wrestling organization uh, coming up with like you know thing like. Uh, Body Slam 2020. The, you know. the governor of Montana is a Democrat. Yeah. Oh yeah. And, uh, they uh, and ha and and they have been Democrat Democratic governors for I think 20 years. Uh, so uh, this uh, uh, Republican sure. seat, uh, I I think the other seat is uh, there's some other seat and that's held by a Democrat. No, so, no, 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 there's only one minute, seat. Wait, 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 Ke Ke Kevin, seat. Kevin seems to know something about this. They had a Kevin, Democratic senator, though. Oh, okay. Kevin, yeah. were you going? Do you want to say something about the senator? Oh, no, no, I was just wondering if my camera was working. Oh Sorry. no, it's working. Yeah. Yep. yeah, it's working great. Actually, it looks very good. I Every, everybody's cameras look good tonight. They're Amazing. making the cameras better. Can I show you my tits? Yeah, sure, sure, <laughs> sure. You know, you got a crop top on. <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna have to set this thing up. Pretty your pussy. That's what I want to I'm gonna have to set this particular machine up so that I can uh, I can show you like uh, a browser, so I could show you a woman like that. A woman like that, she kill your brother. You know. Can you do a share screen or something? No, no, I can't because I'm on a different machine than the one I was looking I know, at. But so you can have one machine talk to the other machine and do a share screen. No, I like, can't. No. No. Okay. No. Got a mirror. And, you know, I've got I've got enough problems here, okay? <laughs> you know, uh, but if I had it on, if I had a, a browser on this machine, I could make that one thing that you could see. But how often do I want to show you a woman with tits? All right, uh, you know. regular basis, I guess. <laughs> I, I might start. I, I might I might start putting them up on my Facebook page. You know. Uh, yeah, here, I, I know what I can do. Here, I, I, I can do this. Watch this. Wait a minute. I'll take her, and then I'll put her here, and then, right, I'll, now I'll get rid of her, and you can all go to my Facebook page, oh, and uh, I will uh, put her up there, okay? This is the uh, hooker. Who, probably, probably just accepted her, too. Now she's going to no, 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 on your door. No, no, I dragged and dropped her, her thing. You know, okay, there it is. I'm going to take it off though because I like to have our video in there on top. But I, right on top, ladies and gentlemen, that's. Do you think that's a woman who really wants to friend me? Are some of you looking at your computer right now and looking at my Facebook? Page? Do I need to update it? You know that. Oh, that yeah. Obviously, oh, she wants to friend you, but you know it's probably a guy, and that. And, and if, just, if that's a guy, just, if that's no, no, a guy, not this, it's not the woman, no. not the picture, but it's probably some spammer. No, 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 no. Yeah. If I showed you the whole page, you would see. Oh. Yes, it is a page they made up for her. Right. But then you know sometimes they're 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 not subtle about it. They write things like 
uh, I'd really like to suck your cock. I mean, well, they're not subtle. <laughs> Patrick it, it, it says Green Bay Patrick, on there. There's a Patrick connection here. What? Uh, well, because the shirt says Green Bay. Yeah. And, and that's his team. So, Patrick oh, that's that. pa pa Patrick friend. photoshopped himself. <laughs> I think so, yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's pretty good looking, though. Huh? He's pretty good looking, though. Zorax yeah, Zorax so cool. has already approved it. So Zorax Zorax is a real person. <laughs> but uh, this woman, uh, whose name escapes me right now, uh, R Rivera Rhiannon Lee, right? Uh, she, uh, uh, what, what does it have? Somebody Sorry. eating something? Somebody's I eating something. I am. I'm Brian. eating Skittles. You're but. eating. Oh, give it, turn on your camera, Brian, so we can see. It is on. I'm, I don't understand. This has uh, been hot. You got a. Uh, Mine's like giving me crap, too. She I says, want, oh, here's what she says. Want to see my private videos or photos? Yeah. Uh, all my. Co my co <laughs> Bring them on. My collection, she didn't spell collection right, videos and photos and everything are at this link. Okay. Yeah. So, I mean. In she, Russia. Yeah. She's trolling for, you know. There's also, I don't know if you're familiar with this word. I just became familiar with it myself in the last few weeks. Uh, by the way, I'm going to. Catfishing? Mm hmm. Yeah. 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 That might uh, be what that is. Patrick wrote, Go Packers. <laughs> What's that? And uh, Bjorn, Bjorn Lemaire says, Dick Butkus' wet dream. So, uh, anyway, I, if, so if you go there, you can see it. I'm going to get rid of it right now. Yeah, you know, yeah. Okay, I've seen her. Short lived. Huh? Cute, her. But yeah, anybody want to jerk off at all to her? I mean, I'll leave it up and you, will you tell us when you're through. Uh, I'm oh, already already through. <laughs> uh, 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 Brian, is that, does this picture make I'm you out. Want, Do you see the picture, Brian? Oh. Oh, okay. Well. Not worried about it. Uh, you, you, you're still confirmed in your sexuality, right? Well, no, no yeah. it's not that. It's just that yeah. uh, I jerk off on my own time. Oh, I see. Okay. Well, uh, yeah. And I got a shit ton of porn. It, it, really? Oh, yeah. What? I, I download that shit. I don't. Well, how many here? How many here? I see a move. How many here? What's that? You want to see a move? <laughs> Be honest. How many? Well, how many here uh, out of the out of the six of us download porn? I, I watch it live. Well, not live. I, I, uh, I watch it. Okay. Well, that's you don't have to download. Well, you but, know, well you, 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 you're not necessarily. Well, how would you like the overall? How do you? How would you rate the overall quality of this video call I just got from Skype? Uh, uh, very bad. I'll go very bad. Then they won't ask me again. Send feedback. Okay, finish. All right. Anyway, wait. I just lost Tim. Oh, yeah, you yeah, did. He out, uh, didn't he? I heard it go. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe his grandson walked in. Yeah, it could be. Could be. Didn't want him to see that picture. Video porn. Huh? Yeah. Porn video or whatever. I don't know. Oh, that could be. Well, no, but then we are. We, she, he's. Uh, they can't see it. You know, yeah. he he's doing. He's a phone call. That's true. That's your right. That's right. Well, you know, call us back, uh, Tim, if if you are of a want to. But how'd you like the quality of that call? Fuck you, Skype. <laughs> like you're going to take it in any consideration whatsoever. Go fuck yourself. Right. Anyhow, right. I have, uh, Phil was asking what I was eating. I'm, I'm actually eating Skittles. And on the way here, I got a, a sick idea in my uh, twisted little head. And I thought to myself, wouldn't, uh, it, wouldn't it be funny if uh, they came up with a pornographic version of Skittles and called it Diddles? <laughs> you, yeah. you, 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 you think too much. Yeah. yeah, you, you think too much. Now, by the way, we can use we can use some more callers, folks. Why not M and M's? What, what's with Skittles? Why are Skittles uh, superior for you? No, I don't eat M and M's. I just pref I tend to prefer uh, tart, uh, tangy, and uh, some and oftentimes salt products over you know sweet chocolatey kind of. Sounds things. like the girl that Alex just posted on his web on his uh, Facebook site. <laughs> well, you keep eating that shit, you're gonna have tits like her, you know. So. <laughs> what the hell? Anyway, if, so if I could eat shit like that and have tits like hers, I'd be eating them all day long. <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly. You yeah, can play with yourself. Um, did anybody see? The video of Donald Trump at NATO. Yeah, he uh, did a little <laughs> Huh? Client I delivered to showed it to me on her phone. Yeah, yeah he he, uh, he 
just moved in, but the guy uh, that he that he moved uh, mm-hmm. smiled and seemed to like Mouth it. Mouthpiece alert. You know, I, I think he liked it. But still, he it was like he was pushing his way up to get the battle by a bowl of Skittles. It, it, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He got up there and he was, in front of the picture. He, he looked. Bad. He looked. He looked, he looked he like what he. Whole fucking bag down his throat so fast. <laughs> well, he looked He'd be like shitting out rainbows. Yeah, well, <laughs> what he looked like he was trying to do. I mean, the way it looks is, okay. yeah. I mean, the guy didn't seem upset, or if he was laughing, it was because it seemed so ridiculous to him that this guy was just bullying his way into the picture. Yeah. But it's like I'm Trump right. wanted to be the, in the center. And, when, and if you notice that after he does that, he gets there and then he gets this look on his face like, yeah, okay, right. here I am. Shoot you the know. photo. Yeah. Well, well if, I could, if, I could, if I could do it, say, do a Phil Meyer moment here mm-hmm. for a second. Well, according to the White House, I'll somebody from the White House said he was moving to the spot that was assigned to him. And this guy, the Montenegrin guy, uh, was in front of him. So he... Said, you know, let, you know, let me get around and sit, stand where I'm supposed uh, to stand. Uh, uh, now, isn't I don't know isn't there such a not, thing as saying, but, excuse me, I need yeah. to get through here? Well, yeah. you do it with finesse. <laughs> well, Tap him on the shoulder. I'm not, I'm not. The guy and the I'm guy not in a full, it. full Meyer world. <laughs> What what what? Not what? Going full Meyer. Oh, Phil's going to Phil's going to excuse the whole behavior here. No, of course yeah. it is. Mouthpiece uh, alert. Yeah, well, you know, maybe uh, he was goosing them, and uh, you know, Melania wasn't there, so he needed, uh, you know, he had to put his hands. Believe me, Melania won't let Melania won't let him touch her. I'll I'll bet you any amount of money he has not been able to touch that piece of uh, off the rack merchandise for for at least a year. Well, uh, yeah. You know, the the strange thing is, uh, it, it only usually happens to Jewish guys that they, good-looking girls, won't let us touch them. But Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, Corporate NATO, huh? Well, she's Catholic. I don't know why she stops fucking when she gets married, but, you know. <laughs> they all do. She has to fuck. That was the old joke about how do you make a Jewish woman stop fucking? Marry <laughs> her. Yeah. 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 Well, look at what Melania has to fuck, though. Yeah, but I mean, I just thought that was... And all the surveillance that motherfucker must have on her. Really? I'm guessing, I'm just... I, I She goes out and plays with other men, you know. He's I don't think... He's going to know about it. Anymore. Not with Secret Service and all that stuff and all... Oh, the... who says she's not blowing one of the Secret Service guys? I don't... I, I, I think she was smarter Ooh. than that. I think that she knew that, uh, you know, the day would come when she would no longer be of service to him. Yeah, and at that point, uh, she was going to have to, uh, um, you know, find other things to do with her life. Uh, so I, I don't think she was going around cheating on him, in particular. You, you, know? you know, and uh, I've read that she has a very successful uh, skincare company, mm-hmm. and uh, you know, she's uh, she's doing quite well for herself. So you know, maybe she doesn't want to rock the uh, rock the boat. Yeah, uh, uh, Scott, we lost your picture. Oh, uh, I'm I'm looking at the Trump video, so I might oh, be oh. bandwidth limited here in Iowa. Oh, okay, that's fine, that's fine. But it, 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 as you're watching it, you notice him pushing the other guy in oh, front. Oh yeah, of him. yeah, yeah, yeah. It wasn't that bad. It didn't look too terrible. Well, it's getting I mean, to the point where anything he does now, we go after him. Yeah, you yeah. know. Uh, I mean, if, if anybody if else had done, if, if, if he had done this and he hadn't done all the other shit leading up to it for the yeah, last, yeah, that was after he, uh, that was after he lambasted NATO, right? Yes, that I, was the I, that I, was I, the other I, thing. Did you see Angela Merkel sitting next to him, and she uh-huh. did not look happy. She looked like the Pope looked. <laughs> she didn't shake his hand, huh? Did she shake his hand this time? <laughs> I don't know if she did or she it's didn't. When but he grabbed her pussy, that made her upset. Now, here, here is something. If something came to pass that I predicted uh, yesterday on the program. And, uh, of course, Phil's going to excuse this, so let him excuse it all he wants to. But the British have <laughs> said excuse. they are not going to share secrets with the United States any longer because Trump can't keep his fucking mouth shut. I don't think it was Trump, though. No, they. No, it, I don't it, think it was Trump that let it go. No, but. Trump. Trump. Oh. Uh, about about this, a lot of the particulars behind what went on in Manchester that he had gotten in confidence from the British that he then told to a bunch of people. He's stupid. 
Who yeah. did he tell? I can't remember who he told, but he, the British got very angry about it. And okay. today they just said they're not going to share secrets with the United States any longer. Yeah. Well, I told you that's what would happen, Phil. Yeah, it, it's it's what happened, but uh, you know, <laughs> maybe there was a reason that he I'll shared. So no, no, you got to no, remember for the see. last. No, he made them public. But this that is the raid, that raid took place while he was traveling, and so who did he tell? The heads of people in NATO. Wait a minute, you know, what, what what raid was being? Uh, the uh, Manchester, the uh, the Manchester uh, uh, bombing. When did that happen? That happened last weekend, didn't it? Like Saturday. I'm not sure. I think he he was in uh, Saudi yeah, well, Arabia. Well, in any event, in any event, I mean, I can, somebody, uh, uh, Scott, see if you can go find an article about it just to see what, you know, what, what it, it, when exactly, what he exactly said that pissed off the Brits. But the Brits yeah. have said they are not going to share secrets with the United States any longer, or at least tell Trump anything. I think he said their food isn't any good. He said that. <laughs> it's the truth. He probably did. He's knocking everything. It's not the truth. I've had British food. It's very good. Oh, it is? Yeah, well, if you like bangers and mash, but... Uh, is that Irish or no? That isn't the only British cooking. Yeah. No, well, that's okay. It's just the rest of it is... Uh, you ever have a hamburger in, in London? No, you, but you, you, I'm talking Kinda about rippies? the fact that they... Really? It, for, they for instance, you have Gordon Ramsay. Yeah. Well, who runs some, five, who right? runs some and, great, who runs some great restaurants around? And where's ninety percent of his restaurants in the United no, States? No, no, they're not. Yeah, no, they're well, scattered Gordon all Ramsey. over. They're scattered all over the world, Phil. Gordon, Don't be a I, moron, okay? Gordon, Gordon Ramsay's Gordon. a really good guy. Uh, he did a documentary on shark fin. Yes, that was that was a great documentary. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Uh, I got a whole new appreciation for Gordon Ramsay from that. Yeah. He, um, and he it was it was something he did which was so out of character for him because he never got political about anything but yeah. that he got political about and he made an effort to stop uh, this was about shark the shark fin trade yeah it, it, but oh. shark fin soup in in london got uh, all the uh restaurants to stop serving it yeah but what i'm saying is uh, you know you can get good meals in london it's just you know i'm the the normal british cuisine you might have some questions about you know, yeah. but uh, well, uh, now I, you know, uh, I remember being there once and having a hamburger called. I mean, a, how about, 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 about Wimpy's? I mean, you, you, Wimpies? you could talk about about uh, Jewish food. Everything's boiled. Yeah, well, there's I a mean, reason they they make it for old people. Yeah, but I mean, and it's all boiled. It's boiled uh, corned beef, and it's boiled this, and it's boiled that. And, uh, yeah, it tastes good on a sandwich, and you like to go to a, a kosher deli. But the fact is that when you get right down to it, it's not great meat. You know, it's not a, a well-cooked, well-sauced-out dinner. Probably yeah. because, uh, you know, most Jews over the years have been uh, living in poverty uh, or, or uh, on the run or in... On the run. <laughs> Yeah, well, yeah, even no, Moses, they were they were with the yeah, runs. Moses with the uh, runs. couldn't wait for the bread. To, yeah, but Moses couldn't wait for the bread to rise. That's how we got matzah. You know, you can't and, no, matzah that's not I how we. So I was looking for yeah, it. Where did you hear that? That is the f most wrong answer I've ever heard in yeah, my life. It's, it's what really? they, no, yeah. the reason why matzah doesn't rise is they didn't have yeast. It was oh, they didn't but, have yeast, yeah, so they made a bread. They made a bread without yeast. Yeah, but it didn't oh. rise. Because and it didn't have yeast, Phil. Well, I see, I see what you're saying. Wait. It didn't rise. You know, they were kinda on the like your penis. Huh? Yeah, kind of like your penis uh, and your girlfriend, Phil. Yeah. About a yeast <laughs> I'm still with that peach thing. She's sitting around waiting for it to rise. <laughs> it's in my mind. Hope she gets a yeast infection, and then maybe it will. Yeah. <laughs> She'll throw her a matzo. <laughs> All right. Figure it out. <laughs> what is he talking about? Oh, by the way, you said you were going to send me a microphone last night. Oh, yeah. he's, he's yeah. trying to buddy you. Yeah. Is that a USB microphone? No. Oh. It's, uh, oh. you know, what is okay, it, well, three prong? Send it on. Yeah. All right. You know. nice. And if I like it, you'll never get it back. Yeah, so, I don't want to uh, give it to you. Hey, I want it back. I'm going to give you a box to send it back in. But, uh, <laughs>
Oh, but, very uh, Jewish uh, of if you. If you want to try it. Better watch how he doesn't bug the apartment, Alex. And I'm like, check the mic for a bug. <laughs> well, I'd, I'd, like, I'd like to try just to hear how it sounds. You okay. Know, how my voice sounds through it. Yeah, this is the, the road broadcaster. Uh -huh. at, how much does uh, it run? Uh, well, I, you can get them used for a couple hundred bucks, but they're five hundred and fifty. What? Oh my God, you pay five hundred. Don't send it to me. Don't send it to me. I don't want to even get I, in. I, I bought these off of eBay for like two hundred and twenty dollars each. Really? I can see you on eBay bidding this stuff at the end. Oh, oh yeah, they, they come up all the time. Oh really? Yeah. I bought I bought some stuff on eBay once. Uh, uh, in fact, it was like I was looking for dat players. Yeah. And uh, I bought two DAT players because the first one wouldn't take the slow speed, and yeah. I couldn't return it. You know, it worked. Mm -hmm. So then I, I could started bidding on another one. And I got to tell you, there's something very addictive about those bidding wars you get into on on eBay. Yeah. Because when I, I won it, when I won it, I went, yes! <laughs> you know, I, 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 bought, uh, I have a book on tape, and it's actually on a cassette tape. So I was going to buy a cassette player because I wanted to listen to it again. Yeah. And, uh, and up came these cassette players that uh, will download to a computer and create a, uh, a, a file. So you put the cassette well, all in they the are is All they are is they just have, they have a USB output. Right, exactly. Yeah. So I could, uh, you know, put it on, put it on a thumb drive or something. Now uh, you could do so something similar if you connect that uh, uh, the headphone jack, the the audio input yeah. on the computer. Well, I, I did a recording program. Oh well, that's true. I, but I didn't have, I, I didn't even have a cassette player. So uh, there was this one. It was at ten dollars and fifty cents. I bid eleven dollars, and I got it for ten dollars and fifty-one cents, and I was uh, I was very proud of it. <laughs> so it's big on its way. It yeah, it cost more to ship it to you then. Free shipping. Oh, okay. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Good. wow. Good. So, but did you pay? Did you pay this? You only paid a couple hundred for these phone. These. Uh, yeah, I paid like two hundred and thirty bucks uh, each. Yeah. Okay. And. Uh, but the you know they're they're five hundred and something dollar uh, mics and there was nothing you know there's nothing wrong with them I, you know and if you buy something and it's no good you just tell the uh, even on eBay uh, you know you tell them and send it back and uh, usually you don't have a problem. My yeah. microphone's a USB microphone too that I bought from Amazon for about a hundred and ten dollars or so. I have a Prime membership too, so it may have been discounted. Here's what it looks like. Yeah, it's a, what's the brand? It's a uh, uh, I, I forget what that brand is. Blue, blue, yeah, blue. Well, the blue. blue, yeah, yeah. Blue does a lot of stuff. They do a lot of USB mics. I can't use a USB mic here. Uh, Why? What's the board? Well, because we have a board. He uses a board. Phil uses a board. Uh, John uses a yeah, board. It's an uh, analog board. <laughs> yeah. So we have to have the regular, you know. Yeah. So can, can you get a, a USB board then to? You there know, is no. Can, I, but, uh, I have not. There, there's I, my board. I, I have not yet seen USB boards. There's one mic, and there's the other mic. I have. I've seen USB boards where the output from the board is USB, but not the inputs. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. Uh, uh, digital. Uh, uh, digital. Yeah. Uh, board. Yeah. They give you a digital output channel. Well, right? I bought a Behringer, like uh, uh, with a smaller Behringer, because I needed for the footprint here. And I um, uh, I took it back because I plugged it into my USB input here, and it worked for about thirty minutes, yeah. and then pfft. I have a Behringer. I don't like it. The pots are not very accurate. Uh, if I were to, get I didn't like it. I didn't like the feel of it. I've got here a uh, I can't remember what it's called now, uh, but uh, I have a board here that. What are you laughing about? The fact that I can't oh, remember. I was the board. just on Twitter and I was watching this meme of Trump and and the Pope holding hands. He's trying to hold hands with him. I'm sorry, it just it just was so funny. He's like, oh, she saw with her hands, and the Pope is like reaching over with his pinky to grab the Pope's hand, and the Pope slaps it away. Like it's got to be fake. It's obviously fake, but yeah. I've, seen, I've, seen, I've seen it. Yeah, the Pope hates him. Yeah, I think it's fake. Oh, oh well, it's, it's a good totally thing. Fake, but it, it just it looks so good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, <laughs> it's sick. Yeah, amazing I, what you can do with video. It says CNN live on it. I mean, whoever did that was perfect. You know, I, I don't. Yeah, I don't have need for another board. 
But uh, if I were to get one today, I would get a Personas. I've and seen how those. Is, is it absolutely impossible for a USB microphone to work in collusion with uh, uh, um, uh, audio? Uh, there's no, there's no way to hook it. That. There's no adapter Animal for that. Board. There's no adapter for that. Yeah. That's what I'm using, actually, is the, is the monitor station from Personas, uh, basically just to feed my, 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 my speakers and everything. Mm -hmm. I just plug directly in, you know, from my little inbox in and, and record everything I need to do. I just don't need to have multiple. All I need are one or two mic inputs, and, and you can get that on the, in the inbox. So. I just don't know why Phil feels he needs to even have that. I mean, Phil, yeah. all you're doing is calling a fucking talk show on the Internet. <laughs> that that's true, uh, but you know, occasionally I talk to people on Skype, and you know, yeah, all uh, you need is one pot. You only need one input. I, I have. I, I you have to admit that on this show, I I use the board quite a bit for the music and for things like that, right? But I'm yeah. only using four inputs. I still got. Uh, I still got at least. Uh, well, when girlfriend's here, I've, I've, I, I use four inputs. Normally, I only use three, and there are like uh, five others that are never used. Well, you see, I've been threatening to do uh, a video, uh, and, and you know, not you know, normally I only uh, take photos, uh, still photos, and ev eventually I'm going to get into video, and then at that point I'll I'll do something, you know, using the board and. Uh, and the camera and editing. As when, two people, John and I, who have been into video, don't bother. <laughs> <laughs> it's a lot easier now than it was then. I'll oh, listen, you. you know, if I had uh, uh, if I had one of these things, uh, uh, one of these. Yeah, back you know, in the day. Oh should, my lord! Yeah, I see it. And this is the uh, what I've got here is basically the equivalent of a steady cam. Watch what happens when I turn it on. There it comes to life. Ooh, I and like that. And then you know, and then you can go boom, 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 oh my boom, lord, boom, 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 boom. Ain't that some we shit? Have, we would have killed for something like that back in the seventies. And 70s. the quality is four K. Wow. <laughs> you now know. you just need to get outside and use it. Well, that's another thing altogether. You know. <laughs> <laughs> um, but you know, I I want to play around with some uh, with some audio stuff, but I I haven't sat down and figured out. Uh, uh, well, I don't know what what Adobe program do I have that's uh, that's for uh, audio. Well, Adobe Audition is Audition, yeah, that's, yeah, yeah, Audition. Uh, there's a Lightroom update and a Camera Raw update now. Yeah. Yeah. Well, uh, you know the yeah Audition. I I really don't know how to use it, so uh, I haven't been. You don't know how to use Adobe Audition. No, and I have, uh, you know, I have Lynda.com and all of those things, but I, I get bored listening to it telling me how to do it. Well, we, we use it here, you know, uh, and it, it works good. What happened to Tim? Why did Tim all of a sudden dump us? I feel so... Did we lose Scott? Jilted. No, Scott's oh, there. Oh, oh, okay. That's the guy waving his hand. I, the dr the drunken old man cool waving his hands. Yeah, I don't see him. Yeah. I still love no, Where are you, by the way, this. Scott? Is that Let's your, is that your house? Sorry, are you in, Are you in, still in Iowa? Yes, I'm in my... Uh, my sister and brother-in-law's basement. So they got a little bar there. They got a bar. And, uh, nice. Uh, yeah. Um, what else do they have there? They have a big t screen and stuff? Down yeah, there? TV. I, I don't know if the TV on or anything, but, yeah, it's nice. It's very oh, nice. And here comes Tim. Tim's calling back now. Uh -oh. Hey, and with, with Renee calling, this is almost a full house. Yeah, oh. Yeah, this, mean, this means we got more people on the air with us than are listening. That's very good. Yeah. <laughs> I was listening to your uh, babe with the breast hanging out and the football between her legs. And, Scott, you made me laugh all the way down the hill. Thank you. <laughs> Why were you laughing? What were you laughing at Scott saying? Yeah. He was really happy about this. <laughs> oh, she's still on his website. I mean, I don't know. If it's no, up. no. If you re refresh it, if you refreshed it, she's gone. No, uh, no. I'm not, I'll never refresh that page. Never. <laughs> <laughs> Does the wife see it? Hey, well, website or his Facebook page? Uh, does everybody now? Other people who have Facebook now, you don't have Facebook, do you, Scott? I mean, you don't use it. Right. No, my, I, I use my wife's page. Yeah, but I would think that when you don't have 5,000 people, uh, a lot of people would get a lot of these requests for friends. 
I've gotten one from a female in Florida, and I'm just like, you do realize I don't give a shit. <laughs> I, like, I just, huh? I just got a friend request from one of Alex's friends, Frank Strapoli. Oh, Frank Strapoli. Yeah. yeah. And I you know, think friend's I, the wrong word. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah, I, I looked yeah. at his. Uh, I looked at his thing. He seems like a reasonable guy. Yeah, so but you I, see, here's so, what we've done. Here's what we've done. You're right. You're right, uh, Tim. But you just said we have cheapened the term friend. Oh, big time. You know, it, it, oh, it, I've got five thousand friends. I I know um, a, a handful yeah. of them. Okay, so it's it's better than five thousand enemies. Well, but, yeah. it, it's not fair, and I support Apple wholeheartedly. And by the way, I have some ear pods on um, order, so they're coming. But they started it really. You want to look like you're wearing hash pipes in your ear? Yes, I do. <laughs> um, no. They started at first by calling people behind the desk geniuses. Oh, that, they, that yeah, yeah. yeah and and I, I often wanted to walk up to one of them and that say, uh, yeah. "You're you're you're a a, a uh, genius, right?" And they would go, "Yeah, I'm a genius." And how do you think? Einstein would feel about that. Oh, oh, God. God. Yeah. You know, he worked for his entire life to have people say, that guy's a genius. And you, yeah. all you had to do was get a job at Apple and have take a few courses. This, this, major, this was a major bone of contention for the late George Carlin. He would have a lot of rants about the bastardization of the English language oh, and yeah. the, uh, you know, the watering down of you know, specialized terms to make people feel good and better about themselves. Yeah, but I mean, you know, friends. I, I don't know any of these people. Uh, well, that girl wants to be my friend. Well, if she's my friend, she can come up from Florida and blow me. She could be my friend. <laughs> well, of course, Scott. It's a shorter trip, Boy, are you right? going to have a lot to say at confession tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> people wonder why I'm an atheist. Hey, Renee, did you try those uh, ear pods on? Uh, no, you know, because I have, the, you know, the Apple uh, things that come with your phone and they're not comfortable. I, I hate those earphones. I hate those earphones. Yeah. But uh, I use here you know, Edemotix and they have a sponge thing on yeah. them. You can see there. Yeah. yeah I, I know I'm going to have to have a thing on them because of the fact that I'm using this for exercise. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, I, I have a, uh, uh, I made a custom uh, mold of my ear. <laughs> I might hurt you. I had it uh, embedded in the bowl. Oh, and it's so it goes liquid in, something in your ear? What do you think? You're a fucking rock star. What is this, Phil? Why? I make them for shooting. So Shoot, he's going shooting again, Alex. Yeah, so I, I, uh, well, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait, you, you take them. It's for shooting. What do you mean? You're, 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 well, I have another pair that go in just for shooting, but these well, are the same mold. Shooting, shooting vit, uh, film, right? Oh, no, shooting no, guns. Oh, shooting uh, guns. oh well, I think you shouldn't wear those and blow your fucking eardrums out. <laughs> I don't know how you see the uh, friends. You don't have to pull It's an amazement. Then you could just call up the show and pretend like you're listening to us and drool. I, that's what I do anyway. Yeah. <laughs> but those things look really big, though, Phil. Are they uncomfortable? It no, it's it fills your it's, ear it, now. It, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, and and it fits. It's a custom mold, and uh, then these uh, Bose uh, things fit into them. It's they're hollowed out to to fit them, and uh, and it's very very comfortable. Yeah, but I got to tell you, these things do the same exact thing. Uh, except I have, as you see, there's. In fact, let me uh, let me uh, blow myself up fast? here for a second, it's so it's people can see. Some sort, some sort of phone. It's a small phone. Wrong camera. Okay. Right. Oh, oh, that's that's better. better. Oh, okay. Really, you might want to go with that. It looks more comfortable. That's what it is. Those are very and, good. The etymotics. Yeah, etymotics, and and what you do is you just, you know, scrunch them up, put them in your ear, and then they expand. Mm -hmm. Uh, and the trouble is, is that now after a couple months now of using these, uh, I have to go uh, back to, I have to get, put some new ear Phones. sponges on here. And I, I have a whole package of them, so I just put new ones on there. When you first put them on, it also kills all the sound outside oh, of you. Uh, outside. Hey, Phil, I got my EpiPen today. Matter of fact, I got two EpiPens today. Would you like to know how much they cost me? $300. Uh, 
Would you want to take another guess? Six, then. Uh, well, you, oh, you need to go down by a whole bunch, people. It was only $30 for two EpiPens. No, wait, wait, wait. Where did you, you get, get Costco? Are they fake? No, they're real. Are they the I'm good, until, uh, uh, I'm good until August of next year. They're two pens, thirty bucks for the two pa- for the pair. Okay, so that, that's a deal. Or if they seven hundred. Yeah, who? What company? Obamacare. Is, oh, Epi pens are only really made by one company. They're so not, that, it's that no company pair. that was charging like three hundred a yeah. couple months ago. So they've lowered the price on them. So Phil, do you have an Epi? Do you have an allergy? A life an allergy that needs life saving medic? So. No. The deal is, is I like my insurance, and it's only thirty bucks to save my life. So it's insurance. Yeah. I uh, I don't have any allergies. What's your oh, allergy? Good, because you probably wouldn't have bought an EpiPen to save your fucking life. Well, uh, I got a second opinion from uh, another um, uh, urologist. Did you, get your PSA? Did you get your PSA numbers back? Uh, no, I'm. Uh, I got to get those. They haven't. I haven't gone in. So, what do the other <laughs> urologists say? I am not being well, nice. Because Phil, Phil's got like um, uh, prostate, prostate cancer. cancer, maybe. Well, yeah, I do. I do. He's it's, not well, listening to you. Right? He uh, he was pretty good guy. He he said, look, it, it was that my num my prostate cancer was such a low grade cancer, and uh, it uh, he said that at. I'm better off just doing a, a watch and wait or wait and see. Still? And uh, he, he said, and I talked to him about the proton therapy, and he said, you know, with a lot of these therapies, the cancers come back. And he felt probably the best bet if I did decide to have something uh, is to have surgery and have it removed. No. Yeah. And, I mean, uh, okay, I don't said, know. This way they get it all. Uh, it can't come back, and you won't have the BPH or BHP or whatever it is uh, symptoms anymore. Yeah, well, but doesn't that mean of course? That you- but of course, you also might be peeing your pants too. That's uh, what he said. Gonna- if you cough or something Don't that you all. have, you could drip or something. I do that anyway. So, what's the difference? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. How did we get to that. Do I talk? Oh, I don't talk. No, but wait, about a minute, wait a minute. I want to hear a little more about Phil's thing. So, so this guy's is he, he going to stick with this guy then, and and what, wait and watch, or are you, are you going to go to one more person just to make sure? I'm, I'm going to go to Stanford. and I'm going to talk to the guys about the uh, proton therapy. Yeah, but you might also get to one more guy and just say, "What do you think?" Here's what I've been told. One place is what I've been told. Another place, I want to know what you think. Just well, to get a, a you know, just to get a third opinion, because if the third opinion says, "Yeah, wait and watch," because the number is low and that doctor was right, then yeah. you can feel pretty assured that you're in good hands. Well, but he's uh, getting opinions I, without his new PSA test. Well, so I, his opinions are based on his well, old. The P- 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 my PH, PSA went up because my prostate is five times larger than a normal prostate. So uh, yeah. I, it's 135 grams, and he says a normal one's like 30. He's got a football oh, coming out of his ass. Yeah, right. exactly. Yeah. Uh, no, but the thing is that that scale. that the PSA height of the PSA does not matter as much as when they did the the biopsy and how that came back grading the yeah. cancer within the prostate. And if it was a very low number, which you it say was. it was, then a lot of times you do a watch and wait because. Phil might die of something else before that prostate Absolutely. kills him. Yeah, probably. But, you uh, know, there is a thinking out there. It's my brain's out. <laughs> there's a thinking out there uh, that, for instance, my doctor gave me a PSA test again. And my PSA <coughs> went up about a full point from the last year. Uh, but we don't know why. It could be any number of reasons why. But I'm still safe. I'm still, it was like a 2.7 or something. So it was still safe, and for somebody Where my age, for someone your age, my age, you can go all the way up to about a six point five before they start getting worried. So yeah. it's not like it jumped. My urologist wants me to take another test in about six months just to make sure it isn't going crazy, which she doesn't yeah, I'm think. Yeah, I'm gonna have a is. biopsy in December. But anyway, biopsy. anyway, he said, and then he'll he'll do a a, a rectal uh, thing on me to just see in there. You know, he uses sonograms. But anyway, the point is that uh, they pretty much suggest that if you're over the age of 75, you shouldn't get a PSA test because all it's going to do is give you grief because <laughs> it, it, it may go up and it may do a lot of different things because when you're older, it just goes crazy. Mm-hmm. And that the, the government has said, the, what do you call it, the national health people said, 
hey, uh, you know, this is ridiculous. We, we do these tests, and they don't really, we're not sure they're really any good. He said, we get so many false positives back that the terror and the, the, the uh, uh, feeling that people get and the fear people get from having one of these tests is just it, it outweighs the benefits of the test. Yeah. Well, with Phil's issue is, is that he had a normal PSA within range, but then he's kind of top of the range, and it made a jump. No, he, 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 he jumped up to, uh, what, a 10, a 9, or a 10? 11. 11? Yeah, yeah, that's not really high. I mean, I knew a guy who died of prostate cancer, and it went up to something like 200 or something like that. You know. And he thinks that a lot of that is just the fact that I have a very enlarged prostate, and uh, that... PSA number is just reflecting that. Yeah. And to ask this in an adult way, how the hell does he know the size of your testicles? Uh, no, no, it isn't testicles, it's prostate. It's, uh, the prostate. Right. He goes in there, the sticks his... Uh, uh, sticks his... Uh, no, when they do the biopsy, uh, there's some sort of... Uh, it's not a sonogram. Maybe it is a sonogram. They're able to measure it uh, uh, and... Uh, yeah. Uh, when they're doing the biopsy. And also, if they, it's you know, they use their technique. finger up there, they can tell if it's big, and they can, oh, my, my doctor saw my prostate just using a sonogram on my stu on my tummy. Yeah, you do yeah. that. Well, this so, guy, uh, this you. guy said uh, mine was smooth. <laughs> cool, <laughs> man, cool. Yeah. yeah. It's a technique. <laughs> How did it he taste? Said, Bend over. <laughs> That's exactly anyway, what he does. Could you use that as a, a glove? Could you use that as Jelly? a a, Bend over. A, a thing for like a, a you know a date or something? Tell her, hey, you know, I got a smooth prostate. <laughs> Hey. Want to check out my prostate? Yeah. Yeah. You know, he, he didn't even kiss me after it was all over. Yeah. You know? <laughs> I have one doctor <laughs> one. I, I, I love telling this story, but I had a urologist in San Francisco, and he was, he was the head of urology at St. Francis Hospital in San Francisco. And he was my urologist. And so he gave me the normal checkup, and he sticks his finger up my ass, and he's trying to get, you know, get a, a reading with his finger on my prostate. And he says, damn it, these small fingers. <laughs> and I look at him after it's over. And I said, damn it, these small fingers. And why did you go into urology? You know, only people with big fingers should go into urology, right? Did you ask him if he was related to Donald Trump? <laughs> <laughs> I had a doctor, it's an African-American doctor, yeah. fingers the size of Stuttgart. I mean, they were uh, yeah. huge. <sighs> Uh, this guy was African American, but uh, he he was very smooth, and, and it you know it was it was fast. He said you know it was one of the better ones I've ever had. Scott must have felt like he was being raped by a black. Well, well this guy, guy with the small fingers, he this kept guy put was up there for five minutes. I swear to God, he kept pushing it in. I was going to ask, <laughs> what you get a mint after? <laughs> I was, oh that's what I was going to ask. And his hands were well, over my shoulders. That's what scared me. <laughs> Tim, Tim, all of this is pissed. Uh, Tim, are you there? Are you there? I got Tim? When I got Tim, are you there? Tim's yeah. gone again. Yeah. yeah I'm oh, oh, I just want to make sure you were there. Uh, I was just going to say, um, uh, does any of this interest you at all? <laughs> yeah, uh, my PSAs have been fine, but I know it's the, the, the thinking of what to do with PSAs and other tests it's all been changing a lot lately well i mean they you know they they it, it they you they say use it as a gauge if all of a sudden it really jumps up tremendously then check to see what's causing it to jump up right. but you know if you if you jerk off before you go get a psa test it's no going to jump it. about two or three points you should have did that phil yeah we and never the whole time. time what what you say? when everybody got a whole body scan yeah and they were finding anomalies in people really? that were just nothing to worry about. They, but people were having exploratory surgeries for stuff that was just, you know, it's, everything's not perfect. Listen to the and rain. Listen to the rain. They doing those. You hear that? What is that? Rain? That's rain. Oh, yeah, it's raining in Queens, though. Yeah. Oh, wow, that's really coming down, too. It's hail. Yeah. So, so good for you on getting your second opinion, but I think we need those numbers, and I'll stop ragging on you when we get those numbers. Yeah. Well, you know, I'm glad he went and got a second opinion because, uh, you know, uh, to begin with, was this guy Kaiser as well? Or, or, yeah, I, or I is think this the next, a, next one I'm going to go to is going to be outside of Kaiser. 
Okay. Uh, for you know, for the non, I, I'll do one outside of Kaiser, and then I'm also going to go to Stanford and talk to them uh, about their proton therapy. Yeah, you but like that pre what's the proton therapy? You still well, uh, you hey, know, so, this, this guy made a good point. Go ahead. I'm sorry, Tim. Hey, Phil, you know who you should talk to? No. Uh, AI, because they have AI systems now. Like uh, was it Dr. Watson? That are hundred percent or more better than you know. The, you know, the, if you put, got ten doctors together, the AI, AI is coming out with some pretty good answers. Artificial intelligence, you mean? Artificial mm -hmm. intelligence. So. Oh. Oh, who, who's Wait, making all that noise? Go to a research hospital. Who's making all that noise? Well, Stanford is a research hospital. Um, yeah, or they may research have, hospital. have not that I would listen to the AI, but it would be interesting to see. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Who's making Brian, all who's making all that crinkly noise? Is that you, Brian? Hitting skittles. That yeah. Well, you got that blue microphone too close to your skittles. Or you can mute it until yeah. you want to talk. I, I didn't yeah. think. Oh shit! Oh, all right. Okay. Thirty bucks, Phil. Don't you think that all Americans that have allergies that can kill them within fifteen minutes should have these for thirty bucks or less? Oh yeah, I'm, 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 my my wife has EpiPen. I think they should have them for uh, free. That's the only way you can get more parking spaces. But there was a, there was a there, <laughs> but there was a, there was a a, a, a a controversy going on about the fact that the people who make those EpiPens suddenly raised the price to like three hundred, four hundred dollars. Oh, I absolutely. thought it was like a piece, three, four hundred a piece. Yeah, yeah. like seven hundred dollars. Yeah, they were talking about six hundred dollars for one life. Well, so how three. come the price is thirty for two? Because I think copay. Because is that your copay? Really? No, yeah. I no. That was just the price of them. That doesn't. I didn't pay a copay for these, but I paid that amount, which probably technically is a copay. But the problem is, is I have health insurance. My health insurance company went to bat for me and said that the people who are going to die of whatever it is needs to be paying way less than six hundred dollars a piece. Now, which which wait a minute? Let me ask her a second. Let me ask her a second. What insurance? What what insurance company do you have, Renee? That's what I Blue Cross Blue Shield. Well, you see, I you know I have like Oxford, which is United Health, and uh, th sometimes on stuff like that, they make you go and get what they call exceptions or uh, uh, you know pre uh, uh, what, what's it called pre authorization pre authorization perfect stuff. And and and, 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 and and they they fight with your doctor like crazy on that. Like I wanted it for my this pill that kills my my IBS, right? And the, the drug, by the way, went up. Boy, we just had a lightning. Uh, yeah, the, 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 the pill went up from when I first bought it, $300 to $2,100, and they wouldn't give me the pre-authorization for it because they were putting all kinds of roadblocks in front of my doctor. Uh, and I even had a problem with pre-authorization on this Voltaren. I, for they finally did it because it's only a $61 drug. You know, and I'm paying 35 of it. So you know, what's the, how's the insurance out a lot of money? But these pre-authorizations are a real problem. And what happened was, is if, when you talk about how that EpiPen went up from I can't remember what it was like 100 to 300 or something like that, and everybody was yelling and screaming because the price had gone up 500, 600 percent. Remember that other drug where that guy did that? Yeah. Think, yeah. Well, this, this company, this company with the dr drug for your Everybody IBS, started. jumped mine up seven, eight times, and nobody ever went after them. You know, and they should. A lot have. of them like that. They should make drug manufacturers uh, come in and and argue why they can charge that kind of money for a drug. But if we had single payer, it wouldn't even affect us. Because our insurance companies would have gone to bat. For well, your here's the other. Here's the other place. Here's the it. other place. Yeah, we have a buffet. The, here's a problem where we have a real problem, Renee, and it isn't. It isn't. It isn't single payer. It's that when it comes to Medicare, for instance, and the drug prescription drug program they have for Medicare, the government is not allowed to negotiate with the drug uh, people. Uh, they they have to pay whatever the drug people want. They can't negotiate with them. And if they could negotiate with them because they have such massive amounts of people that they're working for, uh, we could probably get they would it would lower the prices all the way around. But you know who, who does, you know who does negotiate? negotiate? Wait, wait a minute, Tim. Tim, yeah. Uh, 
uh, the VA, which is a government agency, they do negotiate. Right. That's how they can provide drugs to all the veterans. That's what I so heard. So why can't the HHS negotiate? Well, because, because they wrote of, in, because they wrote, they wrote into that Part D or whatever it's called, into the, uh, into the law that the government could not negotiate with the drug companies. Yeah, because the lobbyists got that put in there. The drug companies got it put in. Yeah. You no, know, I just thought of something. Now it's you know your IBS medicine. Why don't you yeah. get it from the VA? Uh, you're you're a veteran. You you qualify for it. Yeah. Why don't you go to the VA and then maybe they'll give it to you with no aggravation whatsoever. Yeah. That's a good point. Phil actually. Oh my God! I said that out loud. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'll I'll, 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 fix, it. I'll fix it. I'll fix it, Renee. Do, do those things vibrate? And how many Ooh. batteries do you have to put in? <laughs> I wasn't going to go there. So. <laughs> It makes you vibrate if, if, when you have it. That's for fucking sure. <laughs> but did you hear about this little girl in Canada? Not little girl. She was a teenager in Canada, and she was allergic to peanuts. She was dating some guy that had a peanut butter sandwich, and multiple hours later, she kissed him. She died. She didn't make it. Oh my so, God. And she had an EpiPen. And but they she, have and they have single-payer health care. Yeah. Did, and so... So the, these allergies are that can be that bad that just having contact multiple hours later could kill you, which I, is I, really I, trippy. You know what I don't it's, understand? A generation ago, nobody had a peanut allergy. Yeah, when, now, when that started, no, they just died because it wasn't reported. They, they just such. died from oh, a really? call it. They said, "Oh yeah, that was cardiac arrest due to a peanut allergy." But yeah, they I, didn't I, I bet you, oh, I bet you a lot of them died of choking on that death certificate. There you go. Really? Oh, wow. Uh, why yeah, because yeah. they don't have a They get all swollen and up without with Without doing an autopsy. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. yeah, so what will happen, Tony, is that your throat, your whole system, your breathing apparatus shuts down, and this just injects... Um, adrenaline. Herbs. Yeah, adrenaline, for the most part, adrenaline. I can't remember the drug. Helps and this is supposed on. to hold you until the freaking ambulance gets there and then the ambulance is supposed to give you another one to get you to the hospital but this poor girl she had an EpiPen I don't know if it was old or not but it, she used it it didn't uh, didn't keep her until the ambulance got there she uh, was uh -huh. gone it, yeah, it's only good for a certain amount of uh, minutes yeah minutes yeah you only have 15 minutes so yeah. and I live 30 minutes away from the hospital so I can't wait to see how this shit goes <laughs> Well, you got hey, two Scott, of them, so pop them both. Scott, uh, are you still using the uh, the mask and the uh, the uh, CPAP machine? Yes, I am. Except uh, I forgot I'll, to bring a part of it to Iowa, so I haven't used it for a week. Have you noticed the difference in uh, your uh, sleep habits and your uh, daytime uh, uh, you know, awareness? Uh, hmm? I've noticed in the week I haven't used it, it's a lot worse, yes. Huh. So it, it made a difference. Yes, it did. Good, good. I can see it in his eyes, in your eyes, Scott. Yeah. Well, that's the uh, that's the uh, Modella. Yeah. And it's all it's yeah, uh, it's the booze, right? You look well. You just look more tired and exhausted. Than well, no, he's been drinking since two o'clock this afternoon. <laughs> yeah, I heard that too. That they was drink. But you know something, Scott is one of the guys that seems to be more amiable when he's drunk. Oh yeah, <laughs> I'm a good drunk. Well, I'm, a, know, I'm an excellent his... drunk. His relatives are keeping him in the basement. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's keeping himself in the basement from the relatives. Which yeah, I you know, I always had a problem not dr I, 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 It's not a problem, but I always had a problem with not drinking because it, I was very, I was not sociable in that respect. In other words, you know, people went, well, he doesn't drink. Can we trust him? Why don't you drink? A lot of them thought I was an alcoholic, okay, because I didn't drink, right? I'd go to a party and they'd say, what do you want? I said, I'll take some uh, Coca-Cola or whatever, or, you know, whatever soft drink uh, was available. And uh, they go, uh, oh, you know, he's, I bet he's an alcoholic. I bet he has, oh, we understand, uh, you, you know. Uh, we want to help you with your sobriety. I've no, been I'm not a drunk. Orchard here. I, How many months have you been uh, sober? Yeah, I've been sober all, all my life. But anyway, the point was that uh, uh, it was always a problem because people thought I, I, you know, there was something wrong with me because I didn't drink. And I had one girl, I was woman I was seeing, who said, oh, come on, have a drink, have a drink. She kept saying that, you know, like, let's see if we can make the guy drink, up, okay? Man. So finally, one day I said, okay, uh, I'll drink. 
and I drank, but I didn't really inhale. How did I put it. Yeah, I, I, I kind of like. <laughs> I kind of I kind of sipped it, and then when she wasn't looking, I kind of pour it out to make it look like I was using it. And then I got really nasty and fucking mean. Oh, like she made him believe. Huh? Yeah, and uh, she uh, never asked me to drink again. <laughs> you know, but I I just you know I it it's kind of like when you're when you don't drink, everybody wants you to drink. It's kind of like inviting the Jew over to see if you can get him to accidentally eat pork. You know. <laughs> Come on, Same thing with right marijuana. <laughs> you know, I have a we got friend. BLTs for you. Yeah, I have friends, <laughs> and marijuana seems to be his total lifestyle. And when I'm over at his house, all his friends, uh, you know, are, 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 that's their that's their thing. But uh, I don't I don't touch it. I had one puff, and uh, for two hours, I I knew that I couldn't drive. Just one, and uh, you know, so girlfriend likes her pot. Yeah. She really does. And she got some of these edibles from yeah. a friend in California. Oh, I don't want to talk. I, about I that. tried those. Uh uh. No mm -hmm. way. Okay. So the thing is, is I sent you guys, when you were at Sirius, I sent a box to Marjorie and to um, Alfred, Albert. Uh -huh. And uh -huh. his Albert, poor Albert. girlfriend at the time, but wife, ate like half the bar and she got so what happens a lot of things happen when you eat way too much pot you get anxious you oh i get, i i did it a while back where i ate two squares of it because it, it doesn't say hey here's how much is in each you've got you, you know and so you go oh well two that'll probably do it the it was i much. was so paranoid all night it was the most uncomfortable high i've ever had in my life now when i was a kid they used to put pot in brownies and hash and brownies and you yeah. ate them and you got a reasonable high yeah, and but it you wasn't knew, but you knew how much you were no put, you, no nowhere as strong as it is nowadays you yeah, yeah, yeah and here, here's the thing with these with these uh ingestibles they put hash uh, and brownies. Uh, is that part of the problem is and I, they don't taste very good. They taste like chocolate and marijuana. There's yeah. one company that puts out a chocolate, a high-end chocolate bar, and I think it's Kiev when? or K I V A, yes. and it's Kiva. it's expensive. Yeah, and they have they have it in squares. You take off one square, you put the rest in the back of the freezer, and then you eat that one square, and then do a check. But or very you go, yeah, get it out of, so that's the other thing you have to do with the, with the edibles. Get it out of the way. So if you eat it, if you're going to eat an edible, then have your munchy stuff already at hand. So eat the edible, put it away. Yeah, don't use and the edible. The what you're saying stuff. is don't use the edible as a munchie. No, don't use the edible as a munchie. Do Why? not do that. Yeah. You will get so freaked out. Anyway, Alf, uh, Alfred's. Albert's girlfriend ended up in the hospital. Oh, no, I felt like oh, shit. Really? I just felt I, I so bad. Push her. Push her. I, I, you know, it's because in even that these candy bars, and I haven't read them recently, but but you're right. It, I remember correctly that there isn't, there was nothing on those bars that said how much you should eat. Well, it, it, I don't. I don't know if that's still true. Well, but no, it's a very no, high-end no, chocolate. No, no, this stuff was bought in California uh, under California rules. And it didn't say anything on it about how much was ingestible. I mean, it, yeah. you, you could have thought, hey, I'll just do the whole bar. Who cares? I'll just you sit here like bar. it was a Nestle bar. And the, be, trouble the, the and, and the trouble with the ingestibles also is, as opposed to the smokables, you don't get high immediately. No. You get high eventually. And so, therefore, if you've taken too much, you don't it's know it until a half hour later. And you yeah, might want to take a little extra because then, well, I'm not yeah. getting high. Whereas it, when you're smoking pot, you smoke it, and then all of a sudden, about maybe within a minute or so, you you, you feel it. Yeah. You know? And so yeah, I, I, I I think there should be a whole set of laws about these ingestibles. I think that uh, you know, dangerous. but well, marketing laws, laws that say, you know, if I buy this brand, am I going to get higher than if I use this brand? Well, it, it should be that I get the same high out of each brand. Is there any consistency uh, yeah. amongst bar to bar? You know, I mean, you yeah. can get the same brand from uh, and have two different bars possibly and well, have two different Here's the thing. I, I think what I didn't understand is why I was getting the taste of marijuana in my mouth. You know, and it was that well, they, they, have, they, made, uh, they made this stuff and then they just they put it in there. And they mixed it in, and then they made a candy bar. What 
uh, I had a girlfriend who, when she made the brownies, used to make what she called a green butter first. She would take the marijuana, oh, she would gosh. then cook it down in butter, and then use that butter to cook, make the brownies. And That's so how they would, do it in the gourmet world, yeah. And, and so it was smooth and even throughout the entire batch, mm -hmm. you know. But this, yes. it's, you know. So they just take the leaves and they mix it in and you're, and you're eating it. Yeah. <laughs> you know, they got blueberry... Blueberry chocolate flavors and stuff and, like that. And who's to say that the consistency of the pot is is the same from one bar to another? You know, as far as it's uh, it's, it's not. It's yeah, not. the high end stuff is regulated. The, the, it, it's really if I took those if I took all of the flavors of those high end candy bars, the Kiev candy bars, and there's like four or five different flavors. Every one of those bars would be exactly the same. Their their chocolate level is different, and their THC level might be different, but for that particular category, they're all the same. Now, when you get down to the mom and pop stuff, or to the things that are just coming on the market, they used to. I, I remember seeing a, a just one brownie in a package, and that one brownie was way too much brownie. So the brownie should have been like that big. But they had one in the package that was this big, and you get that in the hands of a kid, and that's just bad. My hands, I'll eat four brownies. Yeah, yeah and but, so that's but, why I say but, don't use your edibles yeah. as your munchies. The edibles are 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 something that I think need a bit more regulation. Yeah, uh, I agree. And and in in I saw some documentaries on Colorado and how they were trying to deal with the edible situation because there was not a consistency, and and. Uh, it, it, there's you know when you buy booze it says you know so and so proof you well, know up until recently you know you know what but you know what the proof is of, of, of yeah, it's of, 80 of, proof 80 it's, proof or whatever yeah uh but with this stuff you don't know because you don't even know that when they make the stuff that the marijuana they're using is consistent from one <laughs> batch to another yeah, yeah. they had so, the same problem with uh, alcohol during prohibition you could be getting wood alcohol and uh, you know uh, what is 150 proof well that's and, that's what i why i've always pointed out the prohibition is a bad idea is because right. what you do is you you get all these people trying to rip you off by putting stuff in it that they shouldn't be putting in it yeah. and, and yeah. what's your statement to in order to make this work better so it could be regulated legal, decriminalize it and then we won't have this problem. But it is it's decriminalized in Colorado. Well, I California. think we should decriminalize all drugs, and I'm and for exactly the same reason. I think that we would find far less people dying of heroin overdoses if we had it legal, and people could go into a pharmacy, for instance, and get it by prescription. A doctor would give them a prescription. Terrorists and drug lords wouldn't feel well, as emboldened as they do now well, and have. Well, I mean, the one way you one way you would kill the it's the true. drug trade overnight is by making it legal. In some cases, with some drugs by prescription. Yeah, you were puclicans. And are also all because big Jack, Jack had mentioned when somebody Jack had mentioned uh, Portugal, where they did make uh, drugs legal. And I just read something the other day that uh, said that their uh, their the death of by opiates and the heroin went down quite a bit. Of course, because what's happening is because they go into a pharmacy to get it, they're getting a known dose. Right. Whereas the stuff on the street, you don't know what the dose is. They cut it with all kinds of shit. Well, they cut it with shit, but more than that, you don't know what the strength of it is. Yeah. And some people will overdose just simply because there's. There's some. They never had it that strong. Before. Never had it that strong. Exactly. It might it's, reduce crime, but you know, then what you're doing is you're relegating a whole bunch of people to uh, to the imprisonment of drugs. Well, wait a minute. No, you're not. No, you're I, not, Phil, I, I, because I, I, they're imprisoned I, I, already using the drug, but they're doing it illicitly, and they and the risks of doing it illicitly are far greater than they would be doing it this way. Alex, let's take a late train of thought and let's extrapolate on it. Because when you say when you say Phil that uh, it w would be a, they'd be a prisoner of their own drugs, well, isn't that kind of what we have now with pharmaceuticals and uh, you know prescription drugs and all this other shit? Yeah, they are regulating it though that way. So you know, well, but, well, what I'm saying is that what what, per what permission gives is regulation. Yeah, but you know, I'm not getting. Uh, 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 I'm not in a position where I can't work. I can't be a productive member of society because of the drugs that I'm taking. You know, I'm taking uh, uh, metformin for well, diabetes. Well, that I, doesn't, I, that know, doesn't I, turn I, me I, into I, a sleepy. I, I, uh, I, did, I disagree uh, with you because I have known heroin addicts who've held down jobs and gone to work. They were weekend addicts. 
and they would do it on the weekend. They would get high as a kite on heroin, heroin, and then they would go to week during, work during the week and to be very productive and then go back to heroin again. I've known musicians, for instance. I knew Dr. John when he was a heroin addict. Uh, went on stage and performed uh, perfectly every night because and he was. He could have been more productive if they weren't. Actually, he quit drugs and uh, well, uh, Ray Charles, good example. Ray Charles was on heroin, uh, and one day he finally quit, and that's when his music started sucking. <laughs> so yeah. you know, you, uh, 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 make a case there. Anyway, mm. hey, I gotta go. There's the theme. You hear that? You hear that music? Oh, hear yeah. That? Hear that? Yeah. Um, uh, thank you, everybody. By the way, to our TV people, it looks like my thing that uh, uh, my OBS studio for the first time had to reboot itself, but it did it, and uh, I noticed that the show just kept going. So I hope you were all okay with that. Hey, thank you, everybody. Wave goodbye, okay? And, and goodbye. Hopefully, we'll see you again tomorrow night, okay? Good night. Bye Clear. bye, everybody. Okay, Hi, everybody. there they go. They're uh, out of here, and let me. Uh, as I always say every night, let me turn it off so the next show can use it. The next show, of course, being Jack and Amy. They're here with the, uh, uh, with the uh, intersection. And uh, right after that, at 1 o'clock in the morning, uh, Connections is here. So uh, stay tuned for uh, Jack and Amy and also call them because it's a great show. It's a great little chat show, as I call it. Uh, in the meantime, I got to go. I got to get out of here. I'm running late already, and they're probably getting very pissed at me. Thank you for joining me. I'll see you again tomorrow. Same time, same station in life. In the meantime, you see her. You better tell her I love her, okay? <laughs> <laughs>